<laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome to Lunch Bojo. Okay, my name is Crystal. Oh, you can hear the damn echo. My name is Crystal. His name is Ian. <laughs> so uh, today we are actually going to have lunch bojo and I think as you can see from the item listing below right Ian that um, we are going to do Japanese ramen nah, I'm just kidding like Ian is having a little tummy situation so he will pop by pop out and pop back in again yeah so for now you have me you have Moa to bring to you the food that we are going to do today so um, as you can see in the item listing, we have Japanese ramen. It is not Ichiran or Ichiramen. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, it's not that. Uh, it's another brand lah. Okay, so I kind of did the unboxing just now, and I was like slightly surprised. So I'm gonna show you the unboxing in its entirety, and also um we are gonna cook together lah. So to prepare for today, right? I actually brought eggs. Okay, you see, <laughs> I want to buy eggs. Okay, don't judge by the plastic bag. And I went to get um like other brand seaweed. This is this too. They're not sponsored, like they're not sponsored by sellers. They're sp kind of sponsored by 7 Eleven and me. <laughs> yeah, so this one is the what cacao cacao and friends series seaweed. So I thought like if I see it out inside it would be quite cute, lah, right? Oh look, it's just gonna be look like seaweed lah. Okay, only the packaging is cute lah. Packaging like that is always a scam. They just want you to spend money for the packaging. But I fall prey to it, so whatever. Yeah. So, 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 I sound like speaking Japanese. But, er, uh, the package, okay, so for the hot pot, actually we're going to use a pot, we're not going to use Morris pot today. Today we're actually going to use a uh, Mukata uh, slash steamboat pot that has been kindly given to us by Coca-Cola. Official Coca-Cola. It looks kind of dope, it looks like something very people-ish, which I'll kind of like give you a view, like give you a looky-looky later. Um, we are going to use that to cook our noodles, but only the soup portion now, which is kind of cute, it looks like a bowl. So because the soup portion is a bit small, a bit small, we can only cook one serving at a time. Yeah, so if you'd like to see me uh, mess around and fail, stay tuned, stay tuned. And if you want to really know how the instant ramen tastes like, then you can definitely stay all the way and watch because we'll be showing you like we'll really, really try and test for you like okay we'll test the sauce and then we'll see whether if you jia liao versus never jia liao any difference or not right what is the difference between this and ichiran ramen so we had ichiran ramen i think four weeks back four weeks i think yeah four weeks back uh to be honest i never had the original ichiran ramen before so I can't really make a comparison. To me, it just tastes like very yummy ramen. <laughs> it doesn't taste like the the short one now, of course lah. Okay, because that one need kung fu, need the people to like hua hua or so. This one is that just to see that you do. So honestly, it's not like the real Ichiran ramen as PD mentioned because he tried both before. But as ramen on its own, I think it's very delicious. Like it's just very yummy. Yeah, it's something that you can get. I mean, maybe if you go to Nong Nongki. Then maybe you can find the other types of ramen that like this quad, you know, like they separate packaging and everything. But the sauce and the flavoring is very, very yummy. That's all I can say for the Ichiran ramen. And I'm a big fan of yummy sauces. Because sometimes the sauce, uh, I mean the soup, tastes a bit like MSG, you know. Then after you eat already, you're like very thirsty, right? And I think if the, another key factor is like the noodles. I really appreciate instant ramen that has like very yummy noodles and it's not like the processed kind of noodles. You know some noodles when you eat really then you can taste like the mian fen, like the, the cheap kind of flour. You know you taste really a bit like mm, it just tastes like flour or flour as they say. But for very very good ramen, I think you can taste like the wheat noodles or like you can taste like the, the carbo. <laughs> I'm not very good with food description, as you can see, but I like it when you can taste the noodles, uh, basically, because I think it adds flavor to the, the whole dish, you know, it's not just the soup that is the one with the flavor component. So, two things, soup nice or not, noodle nice or not, that's the two things that we're going to find out today, and I have with me also some drinks that is also kindly given to us by Coca-Cola, and because I thought, you know, we are whole, on the whole japanese team, theme, right, the whole Ohio theme, okay, we are going to have the oolong tea. <laughs> it's not really Japanese tea, but it's the closest lah, okay. I should have chosen green tea or ayataka, but we forgot to put it in the fridge. So, we only have oolong. Yeah, so we have oolong tea with us today. Woohoo! And 
da hong pao. Yeah, so we will match match. Uh, maybe I uh, don't say that. I also choose red because the Coca Cola F and M pot is red, guys. Color coordination. Yeah, so we are going to have a full meal today. Full meal. Oh, click crack, click crack. We have gourmet chef Crystal in the house. Okay, so. In the meantime, I can give you a top view because I'm going to do the right? Ah, I see, I never forget. Must cook water first. So, we're going to have a top view of the stuffies that we have. Ha! Huh, nice! <laughs> you know, your Power Ranger when I switch the cam. No, I switch the TV switching. Okay, so we have with us today. Okay, so this is the pot that we're talking about. Um, this one can move on to first. So this is the pot. It's a okay. I thought about the 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 liao first, okay, because the pot is quite big. So over here, this is how the top view looks like. You have your cow plate, which is where you have to put like your 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 pork, your your beef, or your prawns, or your mussel, your clams, or whatnot. You can cow the pan. And this part is the soup part. But we're gonna use it to cook ramen today, and we use the top part to buy tongsi just cause aesthetic. Okay. Then uh, over here, this is how the packaging will look like. I'll show you later. Actually, I pie may me, but that's stupid because you need to take out. <laughs> I think I'll show you the pot first. Yeah, so here's how the pot looks like. Huh? You can see that it comes like that. I'm going to unplug it. Okay, it's like that. When I flip it over, it's a very nice um, non-copyrighted tifo shape of wine red. <laughs> And then you have two handles here to hold, which is really nice because some of the pots out there that are grilled one, right, they don't have handles, which is very, very irritating. Very more sour than how I hold here, right? Then the rubber, I need to like bear grills a bit, like get all get hands dirty and stuff. But one thing to note, um, this is not removable, okay? Because this is non-stick, la, so I don't think you can, I don't know. This is not removable. So when you wash all, you must make sure you cannot, like, you wash properly, la, okay? Don't like get it into the socket and everything. The Morris one, I think got one that is also not removable. Hmm. So for this one, you can see over here, you got your big old famous brand Coca-Cola. And here, right, there's this pin thingy, which honestly in my entire life I've never seen before. So like when I operated, it's like, ooh, nice. Then where does this pin go? How come no, 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 not? How to adjust the flame? Don't worry, guys, we got this. It looks like a mini, a mini, like, electric gun. I don't know how to explain. But yeah. So you see, long long thing, hole, <laughs> put inside, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is how it goes, this is how you fix it up. Someone that is like me, who is very tech, tech idiot also can do it, so can you. Yeah, so we have set up our pot. <laughs> and over here, actually is where you tell all the one my, oh she's testing my arm strength. Over here is where you tell all the, the, let me give you a closer look. Yeah, so over here is you tell the, like hotness nonsense la, okay it's not quite dummy proof la. you see already you confirm no one la. yeah so i'm gonna put it back to where it belongs over here in the school okay? oh i'm gonna shift the camera a little bit just cause oh never mind la. hello papa mm -hmm. all right never mind it's okay you'll see how we go <laughs> Yeah. So this is how it looks. Okay, then I'm gonna cook the <laughs> wriggling as I thought. I'm gonna cook the water first. Okay, step one. Dumb chef begins. Okay, we gotta check the lighting. So I uh, one more thing here. Uh if how you all know it's working, here will have the orange light la ho. If it's on and it's orange, that means it's working like if you're on already and it's not lit, that means obviously it's not working like okay. Eh, basic 101 operating electronic devices and also lots of caressing okay put in the water i always say right okay Ooh, what's that i got so sloppy oh yeah my rule of thumb for maggie me right is that you don't put in too much water because i like the soup to be gal water can always add in afterwards right but if you put too much you cannot take out already so i always put in the amount of soup soup volume that i want so that's my water and then yeah a little bit because it will evaporate so let's say i want my soup to be about like that then i add a little bit more and i think that's about it i think water at that time okay let's on on this bitch okay mm, i'm gonna put a level three because i don't know how hot this thing can get yet so i'm just like play safe guys 
Yeah, then I'm gonna get it today. Wow, still got Coca Cola. By the way, uh, the knob we must also have installed. Because <laughs> just now when I unbox the thing, I was like, where does this go? Oh, it's for the lid. So I was like, this is just one, one, one. Okay, so this is the knobby knobs, and it's boiling now. You got orange light, but you can't see in the camera. Lah, but we are Eli Ichi, so mark. So here is next. Koewa ramen deska. You see, when you open, okay, so you receive this in the box like that. So this is how your package will come, okay? You're like, wow, it looks like an A4 folder, but no, it's ramen. And yeah, shipped from Japan, I think. Yep, okay. So when you open, huh, you better be careful. Don't like rub out that any other kind of box, huh, that everything fall out. You open, must open gently, like me, gentle, okay? So we have this, they have a little love letter for you over here. Automatic translation. Yeah. So it'll kind of tell you like, okay, thank you for purchasing, how to eat, blah, blah, blah. You can enjoy even more deliciously if you add all the good stuffies over here, which they also give, which is really nice. Wow, environmental, yeah. Eh, hey, opai. <laughs> Etsy. <laughs> Crafts, it's called craft bag, craft, craft box, craft box. Jay, can you give me? You come out lah. I cook for you. You dare eat or not? <laughs> okay. So ah, uh, oh, oh, sao liao, sao liao. I better do this quick. So they got a love letter for you, set of instruction, huh? Okay. And then when you open ah, uh, be rub ah. Uh, they like, they just bubble wrap all the noodles and the rest are just like put out one side. So the noodles is this, I presume one serving is for one person lah, right? And then over here lah, still got all the extra liao. So you got your sesame seeds, then got your green, the spring onion, and then there's the sauce, man. The sauce where all the good stuff are at. Okay, so I already prepared how liao. Yeah, I already set aside everything, and now we are gonna cook and wait for it to, 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 to steam. <laughs> Wow, the, the smell of the box is quite strong. <laughs> it's damn weird, right? <laughs> the smell is quite strong. I think it's coming from this one. It smells a bit like new, um, non stick ish smell. Hey, the cook cooker can buy one. Ah. If I'm not wrong, it's actually a free gift. It smells that bad. Why the pot Coca Cola one? Because it's special. <laughs> Come face, yeah. No, because Coca Cola gift, la, okay? Yeah, it was a yeah, it was a free gift we purchased. I think during Chinese New Year, actually it's quite long already. I think either during March or when la, yeah, they have like you buy how many how many carton. Oh, I think it's during Chinese New Year. Yeah, then after you buy, don't know what ah, uh, then uh, you give free one or something. Actually, I forgot lah. The open area is for grilled abo. <laughs> Just kidding lah. Thank you for asking. Yes. The open area is for grilling. As you can see, uh, I like how they have this latch. It's going to be hot, so I'm not going to touch. They have like, a little latch along the rim along the sides. So that like, you don't know, see, you found like the pork lard, huh? the oil won't spill out. Some uh, I see online those kind of grill, right? It's totally flat. I get it, like flat and chill. Ma. But you flat, huh? then they never have the blockage at the side. Huh? Then you put a lot of oil or whatnot, then they spill into a pan, right? Very home garden. So uh, you must like have this latch here, then you know it's like a very sweet design, okay? So uh, oh, you also have to see they have the line, 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 line. So when you grill your steak or you grill your, your meat, then you have like the 一条一条线. Xiao liao, need to pepper lunch and this stupid paper. Hey, <laughs> ready, man? You can, oh yeah, true lah. But I think it's anti, anti stick yet. I mean, you uh, are anti stick, yeah, correct. Okay, 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 so yeah. Don't disturb me, guys. <laughs> Just kidding. Tee tee tee. Alrighty. Like instructions. And I'll lower the walls here, okay? Instructions. Pour the, please boil the hot water in the pot, okay? That pour hot water into the bowl and warm the bowl. It looks like we are missing one very important <laughs> utensil or crockery in this whole experiment. We don't have a bowl, guys. We're just going to put it directly in the pot. Discard the hot water that warmed the vessel. What's <laughs> it? Okay, this one is basically you warm the bowl first. So um, then you put the attached soup. Discard the hot water. Okay, I'm going to skip the first part because it's just preparing the bowl. 
this is to just like it's a pre pre thing. Crystal is it's to prepare the bowl, okay? It's not even to cook the noodle yet. Cooking the noodle is step two. <laughs> hey, but you know what? From this, you know, it's written by a professional. They took every detail into account. Even the bowl preparation, they also put inside for you already. Okay, so let's jump to step two because I'm all about skipping steps. Okay, boil the noodles with plenty of hot water. Maybe I should add more. This noodle is too much. I mean, too little. <laughs> okay, we got plenty of hot water. Make noodles loose with chopsticks, etc. What's etc? How else? So that the noodles do not get lumpy. Okay, so it doesn't stick. The standard noodle hardness is cut up in the boil time of about one minute. Please boil it to your desired hardness. How hard do you want it to be? <laughs> okay, okay. Right? Guys, how hard is hard? Okay, let's try. Okay, it's like slowly boiling lah. Cause I added more. Cause they say plenty of hot water, right? So I put plenty lah. Must follow instructions. Little people scold me, say I never follow instructions. You know, I should assemble some IKEA. Technically, it's also like a device. Anything that's a device, I take it seriously. Okay. Okay, I got my chopsticks. That's like prop one, item one done. Okay, I think it should be boiling lah. This one so okay lah lah. Huh? How ah? Ah, no, 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 got bubble there. Okay, so I'm gonna put this. Wow, hang ah, careful ah, don't drop this inside ah. Alrighty. Wow, so they asked me to spread, spread them noodles so that they do not get lumpy. I.e., they do not get stick together. They do not stick together lah, okay? So you have to spread, spread, spread. Ooh, spread, spread, spread. Okay, okay, next up. Boil the okay. I'm sorry, that is repeating it. Please boil it to your desired hardness. Okay, so I like, I like it hard. <laughs> no lah. Okay, I like the noodle when it's like semi hard because I feel like it's gonna soak in the water in the soup. So like by the time you eat it already, right, it's gonna get a little bit softer. So if you put like too soft, ah, uh, by the time you eat towards the end, it's gonna get them like soggy lah, like, which I. Yeah, I don't know. It's just I can't taste them noodles anymore. It just feels like the noodle will disintegrate into the soup, kind. The boiled noodles are often boiled in a colander. Mm. Please enjoy in the prepared soup. Okay, so if you're at home, and you know like those bipok auntie, they got that, that thing, the lao sang like that thing. So I think that's what they meant lah. Okay, by the colander. Okay, so they'll boil the soup, right? And then they'll like, ka -cha, ka -cha, ka -cha, ka -cha, like they'll la, the action of pulling in and out of the hot water. I think that's what makes the noodle like QQ. Yeah, because some people are, uh, uh, teach me before, right? after you boil like noodles, right, you must immediately put in cold water, like ice cold water, so that it will like shrivel, and then like it will be very like point point, very cute, but I don't know, I've done it cold water, I only got this lah. Okay, as you like, add sesame seed, green onions, grilled pork, and red ginger, etc. Please be careful about burns, yep. Uh, I realized one thing though, they never tell me when to add a soup. <laughs> there is no instructions in this that says when to add a soup. Oh no, what do I do? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, che. Okay, sorry. This is why you should have skipped steps. Soup preparation plus bowl preparation is step number one. Alrighty. Okay, okay. I'm gonna pour the soup directly, okay? Just, just cause. Ah, okay, I'm gonna lower the flame. Lower, lower. Lower. And then, huh? And then, huh? I'm gonna put the soup last. Cause, right, you add the noodles to the soup in the last part. Although the soup is supposed to be, like, boiled already, lah. Right? So, I'm gonna add all this nonsense first. Green onion, like. Green. Oh, nice. 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 I always. Ah, God. No! Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Oh, screw this! Where's my scissors when I need them to be? Now it's gonna be soggy now! Oh, I hate soggy noodles. Down you go. Down, down, down. Go! Okay. Oh, I'm sweating eh. Cause I'm nervous, not cause it's hot. Okay. Okay, sesame seeds. Are you down? Down. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I can take this. Be a rich, Crystal. Be a rich. Be a mama, lie. Mama, lie. 
Okay, relax, girl, relax. Okay, okay, everything is controllable. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna put this. Okay, the soups. Okay, so I think the noodle is okay. So I have to put the water. Oh shit, I just increased the volume. I mean volume, the, the temperature. Okay, I'll put the water. Okay, then I put the soup. Because technically, you're not supposed to cook the soup. You're supposed to just put it in, like, after you boil the water ready to take out, you put it in a bowl, then you put the soup. So it's just supposed to, like, dissolve naturally, you know? Okay. Everything is awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to mixy, mixy. Mix, mix, mix. Wow. Okay lah, it's not really coming together, but um, they have the tonkatsu look, which is the naita color. <laughs> you know, for those who eat tonkatsu outside, they have the naita color, which is like a light brown, milky brown-ish. So there's that. Noodles look pretty good, very soft. Okay, and you got your spring onions. Now, for the final touch. <laughs> okay. Let's open the seaweed that I brought. That is not sponsored. It's just sponsored by me. Um, eee, them oily. What the hell? Oh my god. This is a mess. Rage quit mofa. <laughs> I get angry with my food. No lah, I'm just kidding. You're, supposed, you're not supposed to get angry with your food. You're supposed to make love to your food. To your, with your food. I don't know. I always hear people say that. Actually, I don't know lah. I forgot what people say. Okay, I think the seaweed is like super soft, so I'm gonna put it last. Last, last. And then I'm gonna put meat eggs. This one uh, I buy from, you know, those like Yakun. Uh. Then after they actually supposed to give the pan so I was like, Auntie, I'll be a pan so I want train so. Where's the more? Just cause. <laughs> then Auntie will be wondering the whole day, like, oh, what that girl wants from? Like, just kidding. Auntie doesn't give a shit. Okay. Now. Ah, damn, I should have cut them eggs. Now it's gonna be a full egg. Oh god, boring. Oh, I should have cut it right. Should I cut it now? But like the knife is like, oh yeah. Yeah, lo, yeah, lo. Sorry, sorry. I cut somewhere else first. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it as tissue paper. Okay, I use a spoon to do the very uh, ugly cut, but better than half. Okay, okay, okay. Lie, lie. 101, uh, 101. <laughs> That's damn ugly. <laughs> Never mind, never mind. I'm trying my best. Okay, okay, I like that. Wow. Hashtag food gourmet. <laughs> okay, so, oh no. Forty tao, I feel Ah, mess. Hate this mess. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, I dirty the, the, what's that? Uh? Instruction sheet. Alright, so we got them eggs. Got the eggs here. And now, time for the garnish. <laughs> wow, who been siang? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Add it. I like seaweed, so I'm gonna put a lot. So, in Crystal's ramen, it's just 90% seaweed and 10% noodles. <laughs> it's called seaweed noodle. I don't wanna put too much, lah, because uh, I scared like the, the salt from the seaweed will kind of like affect. Okay, lah, I think that's enough. Okay, I don't put. Okay, one more, lah, one more. I feel like the salt from the seaweed is gonna affect. Oh no! No! Okay. Okay lah. Please them. <laughs> like pirated noodle. <laughs> A fake one. Okay, okay, okay. We are not bad, not bad. This this good, this is good. Okay, guys. Right. Are you ready to tuck in? Oh, okay. So maybe I should do like you know that kind of like um show they were like when they play the heavenly music and then they'll like do like a close up of the shot, right? I shall try that. We have no heavenly music, uh, it's just me. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh wow, okay, so as you can see, in a typical day in Nippon, Japan, you can see um instantly cooked noodles like this at home. <laughs> oh really? Oh, uh, I think you can, what you can tell, switch off the store, the stove. Thank you, Sharon! <laughs> Thank you for, um, wait, actually when you, oh, three minutes ago, so you just saw, yes, I switched off already. Thank you, Pape, thank you so much. Yeah, you see, got, uh, I feel like I got a mama looking after me. <laughs> I switched off already. 
Yeah, because I don't like my noodles so soggy. Okay. Ah, here, in a normal day in Japan, you have... Hata! Is it Hakka? Hata. Hataka. Hakata. <laughs> noodles. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Why the... Ah. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, that's it. I bought it from 7-Eleven. Ah, welcome! Ian has been here all along. Uh, <laughs> I, I just haven't seen him. Yeah, I experienced a little bit of stomach upset, yeah. friends. Uh, if you eat like us, please go and get yourself some healthy checks so that you don't experience yeah. uh, like indigestion and stuff, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, here's the broth, which looks a bit weird. Like, I don't know why. Wow. It looks a bit like comfy, but I think that's because it's the sesame seeds. I think it's supposed to stir. Cause the last time we did it, right? Then the seller tells, or rather the 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 what's it called? The division leader. Oh. He's a he's a very good connoisseur of ramen cooking. Oh. And he tells us right that the last time we put is we supposed to take the noodle, put inside water, cook. You have to take out the noodle and yeah. the water throw away because that's the wax. Don't yes, the wax. Yes, this is what my mom says too. But yeah. I thought she read it from some Facebook post, so I ignored her. <laughs> I thought, like, stop reading this fake news, mom. Yeah. <laughs> Just ignore I mean, it. Like, I don't know whether it's really the wax or what, but. But some... a lot, I know people do that. Yeah, yeah. People yeah. remove because, like. They rinse. And also because, right, they say that when you boil the noodles, they have, like, the, the noodle taste will seep up into the broth. And that will affect the taste of the broth. Yeah. So people will throw that water away first. Then after they recook it in another soup, but okay, we only got one pot lah. Okay, so my yam lah. Okay, this is what you get. You wanna take a, a bowl or uh, a cup? I don't know. I, I think take cups. Oh, oh yeah yeah. Oh, oh no, it's soggy now. Okay, so as you can see, probably what tonkatsu sauce, which is um, a little bit um, I don't know why he's not focusing. Let me try first before it Hmm. Mmm, it's not bad. I mean, my standards are very low. Uh. <laughs> as long as it's tasty, I'm like, oh, okay. I don't care if it's like, good, it's supposed to taste like the original ramen kind. Yeah. Oh, hello. Chang. Chang, Chang. Let me, let me Chang do it. Chang Okay, wait uh. Okay, I'm gonna like, um, try my best to segment like, sign out for you. And then if you like it, I'll cook, you can cook the second one. Uh. I don't trust myself in this. So this is one person serving. This is one person serving. That's a lot. Eh. That's yeah. It's one person serving, and actually, I uh, I already do one person. Oh no, it's spill. 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 Okay, okay, okay. I gotta recreate Ian's share in a cup. Oh my gosh, how cute would that be? Imagine you have a person that sells ramen. It's uh, just called cup ramen. Okay, okay. Bye. Bye. Can the bowl take out and wash one? Cannot. Cannot. The hot plate cannot take out. Ha, huh, then you have to take it out. That's, I think that's the only downside. La. Aside from that, I mean, the it gets hot very quickly. So the switch and the heating system is very fast. But the only downside is like with some other pots, right? You can't remove the hot plate. I think got one or so, the Morris is like, you know, like those steamboat handle pot. I yeah, but that one look like it's waterproof. Eh. This one got... Oh, true lah, true lah. <laughs> this one I got drink uh, one nice one. seams for aesthetic design. Yes. Okay, I'm going to give you more soaps. Soaps. Soaps, and I'm gonna give you like one seaweed. That's like the least soggy, the rest are just I think, it, I think it's fine. I will put the. It's no, just okay. that as long as it's. Wow, 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 see, got plating. Yeah. Out. You cannot see because like the grill plate that we don't use, right? It's like taking out a lot of the, <laughs> the thing. So okay. she do it. Later, later, I'll hold up. Later, yeah, I'll hold okay, up. Okay. Then we, we let them see the. <laughs> For you! <laughs> yeah! So, what? You, you can know? put it in here. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> so she, she made until like. Hey, so it's actually right. This one can be like a. um. A business. Yeah, I know that's what I said. Right. No, you know what? I was like, someone should do this called ramen in a cup. Then I realized there's this thing called cup ramen. Cup ramen is the instant one. Yeah. Right? No, but the thing is different. Because you know the, the Japanese chef, right? They properly do the thing, right? Yeah. Then they serve it like that, right? I think people will like, like, right? Yeah, instead of like having to eat one whole bowl like seven dollar, eight dollar, right? You go for like a two dollar cup ramen. It's just like an instant fix. Right, yeah, yeah. That's what I was like thinking just now until I shot myself down because I was like, huh, isn't that cup ramen? But yeah. Imagine I mean, how cute have, would it be? Must have the liao inside lah. Like, yeah lah, yeah lah. Like, la. Yeah, yeah. La. How, how, like, how cute. Then you know people on the go, right? Mm. Like next time maybe when can, like outside, like when COVID not so serious anymore. You know they have those standy tables where people just stand there and eat. Then mm. you can just like buy one cup ramen or ramen in the cup, if you will. And then just like slurp, slurp, slurp and then tao. It's like very fast, you know. I think food trucks would be better. Oh, food trucks. 
cause food truck got that 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 idea of like scarcity, you know, like 我的, oh, yeah, 我的店可以吸三个人, yeah, yeah. even though it's open oh, space. Oh yeah, true, true, true. Then people be like, hmm, oh, wow, this is popular. Actually, yeah. But actually, uh, I think Japan don't even need food truck, like every store is like scarcity. <laughs> like there's uh, very little space. Yeah, they don't have yeah. space, ma. Right. Oh, okay. Now, I'm gonna do the mini plating in my coffee cup. Thank you, Crystal, for cooking for us. Yay! Who says I can't cook, huh? Happy Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I today, did for you today. Today, she proved that she can. Yes, oh shit. You see, you cannot cook. <laughs> eat kwa or juke, like, no. Eat kwa, get it? But this, wow. <laughs> okay, for those who don't know, because my surname is kwa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get old. I'm gonna get more. Question for chat people watching, like, what's the laziest way you've ever cooked noodles? <clears throat> like, the That's minimum all... amount of steps. Damn it! But I want to pick it up, then by the time I pick it up, it's only it's like soggy. Yeah. It's the smallest. Soggy, sweet. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> sweet. Sweet. Would you like some sweet? Sweet. Sogweed. Sogweed. <gasps> <laughs> it sounds weird when you say it like that. Sogweed. Would you like a sogweed? I know, okay, there's a test, right, called the innuendo test. Would ah. you like mine? Is a test. And if it sounds too suggestive, then it's a... It's a Innuendo? <laughs> it's a not a good word to you, uh, invent. Oh. Would you like my soggy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's why oh. food, right? Always work like that. Would you like mine? Oh, would you Sausage? like... Oh. Yeah. Um, would you like to eat some soup. hamburger? <laughs> would you like some soup? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Soup is quite hard. Yeah, so it's quite hard. That's why it's very funny. Like, so some work, some, some work. Yeah, so you now you know that's how the innuendo test works. Oh, Sounds damn. Like I have a question what? then. If this is non stick, right, can I still use metal stuff? Preferably not. Preferably right? not. I'm supposed to use right. like plastic. I want to like zhuk zhuk the side. I was like, oh, wait a moment. So nope, I'm not going to do that. But I think if you zhuk zhuk, then the non stick lining will make it. Yeah, that's why I That's what my mom and Yeah, that's why I'm not going to zhuk zhuk. I just did like one scratch. I think it'll be fine. So how do you clean a non stick? I use a sponge. Oh. Yeah, I okay, my dad does this. Uh, my dad uses like the soap water first to like turn so that like the oil and all the grime will like loosen uh. from the side. Uh. You turn for like half an hour. Uh. Then after that you use a sponge to like lightly shook, then it will come out. Oh I just cook the 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 shit in water again. Oh then it's hot money will loosen up. Oh true? Yeah. Yeah. You can do the cooking way or the turn way. But, but technically non-stick should be easy to wash. Right. That is the whole purpose. Like <laughs> non-stick should like not stick. So like yeah. by the time you put in water and like with some soap it should come off la. It should. It should. But we don't know. Okay, that was just for fun. <laughs> nice. This but is like <laughs> a satisfaction, you know, when the chef is like ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. <laughs> I like the term chef. 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 Do you like to be called chef first name or chef surname? Like Chef Kwa or oh. Chef Crystal? I think, oh, Crystal, right? Oh. But but some people used to call me by my surname. Like, hey, Kwa! I'm like, yes. Felt like I was in the army. But I think that's because you have a unique surname. Yeah. Yeah. But right. then when they do that, they tend to veer towards like making bird sounds. Oh. Like, Kwa! <laughs> Kwa! And I'm like, yes. But I think, okay, like, like, do you know that, uh, in like the mountain, we can inside eating first, so we can have oh, yes, a conversation yes. later. We, we just try. Everybody eat. Everybody eat. I hope you're having a nice lunch. Yeah. Ooh. Hope that we gave you some pre-lunch entertainment. Oh, she's just a great touch. The seaweed. I'm a big fan of seaweed. Me too. Salty as hell, but I love it. <laughs> Cause I always eat it together with like either snacks mm. or like meat mm -hmm. or like uh when you have drinks. Oh. Like a like a wake waker upper. To like condense the alcohol. Mm. Never, like I had it in like restaurants with ramen, but I never mm -hmm. do thought to do it at home. Oh, because it, every time I cook it, it's not like extra Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they don't actually cook the seaweed, do they? they just no, put no, it at no, the end, no, right? no. Yeah, it's like a final garnish, and then they like shoot, and then put it inside. That's oh. weird too. Can I just say, um, this is a lot more waxy than the uh um. Uh, Ichiran ramen box properly, the, the non Etsy version. Mm. You can taste it, right? Got the Huang Mian kind of. Yeah. Yeah, right. Mm. The Ichiran noodle was really good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My mother tell me you know, talk with mouth full. I choke. <coughs> <laughs> That's the reason why you shouldn't talk with your mouth full. You might <coughs> choke. Jing Jing, ah, we got oolong. Ah. I, I swallow it. Oh. oh. Anyway. Yeah. I wanna say 
the Ichiran ramen, right, 他们的面 got a very nice taste. It's like they even season the noodles. I think, no, it, I think it's the buckwheat, is it? Yeah, yeah, I think it's the buckwheat. But this one has the, I feel like it's the, the normal. The flour flavor. Yeah. Just, you know when you go play Play-Doh, right, then they got the, the noodle presser in a super yeah. sweet shape. It's just, just like the normal fondue, yeah. but pressed in a correct shape. But I think if you're okay with this kind of taste, like, basically it's just all the, the Maggi Mee taste, uh, then if you're okay, but no. the texture is not like Maggi Mee. Right? Ma- Ma- Maggi Mee got the, uh, Maggi Mee got, got the artificial taste. This one don't have. This one feels like, you know when you eat uh laksa but huang mian. Ah, and because the huang mian yeah. very obvious, right? Yeah, the laksa. Yeah, yeah. It has the, the really the wheat wheat yeah. smell. It has the huang mian taste. Yeah. But it's not the it's not, yeah, it's not Maggie taste. Yeah. It's just the the huang mian taste. I don't know how to say. No, everybody will know. It's not the like plastic, tea, yeah. but your not, brain right closest un- understanding they call is it plastic. something uh, tea, uh. Don't know what is it. Don't know what is it. But I like the huang mian taste. Yeah, my, my girlfriend likes it too. It differentiates the noodle from mm, like a very thick gravy. Yes. So like, for example, if you eat like laksa, <clears throat> then you eat chumi fun, right? You cannot you cannot really taste the chumi fun. Mm. You're like eating straw. I love chumi fun. <laughs> Simi calls like, I can't taste anything. Yeah. yeah. But if you eat the huang mian with the laksa, oh, then you like, yes, I got mm. noodle. Then like, it's just got more ingredients. Like, mm. But to be honest, if like we compare it to Ichiran ramen, um, Ichiran men, the noodle, <laughs> you, stop it! <laughs> Ichiran ramen. Ichi ramen. This is easier because it's like rah rah. It's like a very like it throws me off guard. Okay, so like the noodle, like contribution wise. So let's rate our food on how much you contributed to this project. So like the noodle will take up like fifty percent, the soup will take up fifty percent. Ah. That's how much they contributed to the taste. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but for this one, I feel like the soup is like eighty percent. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then noodle is twenty percent. Oh, the noodle, the noodle, the noodle <laughs> don't have the buckwheat smell. Yeah. So that means that right, it's only the huang mian bit. If you don't like the yeah. huang, mian, uh, huang mian bit, right, then the soup is hundred <laughs> percent. Mm. Yeah. If yeah. you like, then it's like uh, it it, it helps la. Like mm. imagine if you eat uh. Oh, you know Kastor Laksa? Yes. They cut the thing. Yes. Yeah. So imagine right, if you cut that thing, right, you wouldn't Ooh. be able to tell the difference Ooh. between whether it's uh, soup Ooh. with liao or mm. it's noodle. Ooh. Because it doesn't have the... Yes, it has the traditional noodle taste, but mm. it's, it, 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 it stands out. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But honestly, like, if you're not demanding much, you just want good tasting Japanese ramen noodles mm. that is like instantly cooked, mm. you can just get this. Mm. Like, the thing with Ichiran ramen is that there's a certain type of expectation tag to it because it's Ichiran ramen. Yeah. You know, so people who have had the real Ichiran ramen before will compare. And then like whenever you buy, you're gonna think that okay, I put this amount of money inside, it better give me this. Ah. You know that kind of thing. So if you don't want to disappoint yourself, or if you don't want to like, eh, why is it like that? And make your life detail sing cool, just get a typical normal kind of ramen like this kind. And yeah. you'll suffice, yeah. So I think uh it de- it really depends on your choice. If mm. either one is on sale, take the one with the sale, right? Mm. But if both are the same price, I personally would prefer the Ichiran ramen. Oh yeah la, yeah la, Simply course. because if I'm not wrong, the serving size comes in the stick thing. Yeah. Then this thing comes in like a packet. Yeah. I don't trust packet stuff. Like it, you get what I'm saying. Individually packet stuff mm-hmm. because they are made to be preserved longer mm-hmm. than like bundled things. Oh. Right. So that means that the preservative fit Means yeah. you really have to put it separate. It's yeah. Not you see, just now the packet I show you, like be careful, don't throw that thing inside. So there's that thing there. <laughs> <laughs> right before. Just cook the drying agent. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Like, it's like, it's wow. Whoa. It's so. Like, Oh, based on like because when we started uh, started streaming right um we were like comparing okay soup is it okay noodle can taste the noodle taste so I think overall noodle taste yeah you can taste but it's not like the wheat taste it's more like the yellow noodle taste yeah right then compared to Ichiran ramen kind then the soup wise I think it just tastes like a very tasty tonkatsu broth this makes it more apparent that it's missing the meat mm, yeah the other one got the meat flavor this is a tonkatsu broth i.e. may you meat Mm. So you need to like kind of <coughs> how to say, uh, deal with it or mm. you either like it or you don't like it or the fact that that means that this will remind you you should put meat. Uh. Mm-hmm. The other one can be eaten as is which helps or becomes detriment based on how you are as a person. You know sometimes right you don't really want like pre-flavored food because you're cooking something else. Mm-hmm. Then you just want like the base ingredients to do the base ingredient thing. Hi Rin! Hello! 
Yeah. Yeah. So this is good uh, for you to shepherd, like do some other things and add your own things and make it better. Mm. The, the, the other one, the Ichiro Ramen, it's more for... Okay, oh yeah, I know, I, I remember already. The Ichiro Ramen, right, the soup itself already very concentrated. Yeah. So imagine if you add more things inside, it's going to taste very complex. Yes. You'll be like, eh? oh, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Your, your phone is it on spam or <laughs> is he just saying hi on purpose three times one for each of us? <laughs> no, it's gonna be hi, then after I hi, then you hi, so she must hi. She's very polite one. We we make rinse type a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, so that one already like a soup very gao. Yes. So like you add more things, it's just it might make it or break it very easily. Mm, but this mm, one is like mm, you have a base, a nice ah. starting tonkatsu base. Then whatever you jia liao, you are like safer, you know, like a yes. safety net. You're not gonna ruin it, lah. Yeah. Mm. So this is I okay. I I say this because Delicious. I don't have other words to say it. It's technically yeah, uh, like a from a culinary standpoint, an incomplete dish. Mm. Because it requires you or it enables you to finish it with whatever you choose. Mm-hmm. Well, the Ichiran ramen is a complete dish. I.e., it is a tonkotsu oh. flavored noodle. Means like. Ni fang ni zu la, we can show you eat. Ah, you the kind the like, flavor profile is complete. This yeah. one, it's not missing something. It's just that if you want, it will be good if you can add more just yeah. to enhance the flavor. Ha, you na ka tong la, in the flavor profile. The other one, I think add add little rolls actually right. Mm-hmm. At most, you get the texture. You won't really get the meat flavor out of it. I think if you cook like with like pork, mm. beef, I don't know whether it has taste not. Chicken won't. Chicken will probably inherit the taste from the soup. Beef mm. or pork, right, will probably leak out how to like a xiang wei to the, yeah. the, the soup. And I feel like, okay, but the soup wise, I kind of like this because it's like very milky. I don't know why. I think it's the wax. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> I guess no, I like the wax. Okay, the, wax the wax, right, is edible. Some edible people just don't wax, like uh, it. Yeah, yeah. Some people just don't like it because of the fact that it feels oh, different. It's oh. not like the soupy, soupy thing that you find in like a ramen chip. Right, but mm. ra- a ramen house. Oh. <laughs> why did I? Okay, never mind. Anyway, so yeah, so some people don't like it. Some people, very strangely enough, right, I have friends who bring thickening powder. Oh, so it's like, like starch. starch. Yeah, it's like a little bit of starch. So oh. they put it inside their ramen so that it becomes like this. You know, when you cook the Maggi noodles, nah, you cook Prince a bit. for you to see. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I give you a special treatment. Gla- like. Glamorous food shop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, there, are, there are those uh, people who bring it to thicken so that when you cook like the Maggi and you overcook it, right, then the noodle become like for fun. Sa. Oh. They like that because that means it's like every time you pick up the noodle, it will be enveloped with soup. Oh, yeah. oh, they like it the coating, the coating. Yeah, 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 yeah. So oh. that that's the that's the vibe. So the extra one. So this has more potential for for funning itself. Oh, yeah. for funning itself. <laughs> There's another one called what? Skimen. A bit what like skimen. So skimen, right? Um, is ba- is something like ramen, mm-hmm. but you eat like you cook the noodle first, mm-hmm. and they have like. A separate bowl of very very thick sauce, which is the one you mentioned. Like paste. Like paste. Like zha jiang, right? Uh, but a bit more thick, thin la. Not, 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 not like paste la. Uh, thinner than zha jiang. Oh. Yeah. So imagine this, but you add flour inside. Yeah, it's still a oh, bit oh, soupy, oh, oh. but it's just thick. Carbonara like that. Right? Yeah, yeah. So what they do is that you take the noodle, you dip in the soup, that so-called paste, and then oh. you eat. But, so yeah. it's like a, a, a cold noodle, yeah, but uh, something of soy like sauce, is thick sauce. Yes, and it's hot kind. So like, you have mm. all your different yeah, all right, and then you just stick and you dip. And then right after you dip, right, you, you eat. And then so that there's that cold thing that you mentioned that your friends kind of like. Wow. Need to add my 7 Eleven fave on Sun Egg. Hello, yes. Jenny, ba- yes. Jelly Buddy. I yes. said, all I say, Jenny yes. Buddy. I know, la. Hadzuku yeah. eggs, let's go. Hadzuku. Okay, but sorry, today I only got the Fun Toast eggs. The Fun Toast eggs <laughs> is not bad, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I like soon be at my zao chan there like say like oh auntie or pia or half boy ah okay give me chenso ji dan then I just like okay lah okay lah take lah. Do you like the hanjuku eggs? Yes, I love. Oh, I love 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 anything that is salty and savory. I love it. The the fun part about hanjuku eggs is the soy sauce, right? Mm. It just need to those like if you let's say you want to be real cheap, if mm. you you are a uni student who cannot afford basic maggi, mm. you want your meal to be like mao yeah. Okay. You can buy those uh. Unflavored, no no fra- fragrance packaging one. So mm. it's like six for I think three dollars or like two eighty. Then you take that, you put in the hanjuku egg uh sauce. Then you like let it cook overnight, right? You put a little bit of MSG, then you just let it cook. Don't yeah, overnight, so. you just let it let it I like saw, boil. I saw people right, they prepare the hanjuku egg. After they must use the sunzu to like to cut it. <laughs> this is a high level cake. Okay? That's what people do. Uh. You know, I saw those YouTube video. Then they put in a sauce, right? And then like put in the fridge so that it, like it will still cold mm-hmm. overnight. 
then after the next day right they use like this white string and they, then when they cut her thigh and they they were just nice slice oh yeah yeah i mean but that's for content uh, like real life right just, yeah just, just use the knife uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. yeah you just eat the egg whole great tips yeah as we, always ian has great food tips we, we should do like a convenience store uh, menu we should right i am very mm. um i won't say good but everything i make right i will eat completely so i'm like oh this is like a half-baked idea but i'll just eat because it's like who you like will to... you be willing to serve the things you make no uh, <laughs> I, I, i'm willing to tell people that i make this and you should try it and oh. most of them they will try it. and a lot of them are like uh things that i've learned online from like the way korean army do their mm. thing because they have like convenience store inside the camp and they don't have like okay lah korean people taste a bit more atas you can you, you eat that food you know so they like to have a little bit of more quality of life which is why i like that culture right? oh. so they go in and they do this thing where it's called uh gun tax gun tax so basically uh you know about pretzels yes so there are those unflavored pretzels you can buy okay then you the way pretzels is in the small one or the auntie ends one the the small one oh, the but it's the same one you just different shape <laughs> ma, right then they put milk oh. depending on your flavor and then you shake it and then you smash it and then you get this paste kind of thing with big chunks so imagine like chunky uh, peanut butter okay but it's milk and flavored salty crisps oh it is really nice oh and at first i thought like this is rubbish this is like <laughs> cereal in a bag who want to eat this i eat this i'm like oh, oh. yeah the closest nice. thing that i can ex i can like try to put in words is like if you ever eaten you know there's this like leopard cookie uh cereal nope i don't know what is it called but there's a there's a cereal that looks like small little cookies that's not for real okay if you eat that together with like uh chocolate milk Mm-hmm. or like normal plain like uh, full fat milk yeah yes. it's exactly what it tastes like because it's like yum yum in the center with salty salty then after the oh. noodle is like uh, noodle. <laughs> the, the soup slash milk will be uh sweet oh Quite interesting. yeah uh, uh, you should go to ian for any food tips uh if you want extra crunch in your pizza instant pizza buy a pack of calvi oh crunch yes. it open the thing before you put inside the microwave mm-hmm. close it what's going to happen is that the cheese that has mm-hmm. already melted is going to be on one side put that side facing up put some chips on it close it then after that put it in the microwave mm-hmm. what's gonna happen is that uh the thing is going to slump into a bow shape because like what's that called like cracker bits ma, okay. it crushed it in. so that will give you like the bacon bits simulation mm. and give you the, the same msg flavor but the cheese will melt what because yeah. last time what happens is that when you put it inside the microwave sometimes the cheese will melt unevenly yeah. Then you eat to the center, right? It's like this hard, solid cheese. But if you give it space, ah, uh, to microwave, mm. then you will microwave, uh, even. Convenience store actually very good. Now they sort of put very good. Yeah, I love. I told you before, I love the Seven Eleven Mee Siam. Very random, but no. Yeah, the only thing that I rarely eat, like if that is the last thing, then I'll, I'll eat it. Oh really? Yeah. I love Mee Siam. That means right, if we we are together in the Seven Eleven, right? The Seven yeah. Eleven confirm so out. Yeah, because you take the stuff I won't eat. I'll take the stuff yeah, you don't eat. Correct. Because I love Mee Siam, and sometimes uh, I really go like and eat other places, right? I think it's very comparable. Like, you mm. think that a person that thinks to do that Mee Siam, okay, yes, of course, that's good and bad, but like the flavor of the 7 Eleven food is just amazing. Every the, time I end up at Safa, I just go there. Eh. The, the MSG uh, uh, tempering is very good. Oh, yes. Yeah. Because mm. a lot of the things when you eat really, like, it tastes very good. Right? After that, wow, you get the dry spell from Yeah. Them. But you don't get it from 7-Eleven. Yeah. But you can taste that. Like, the MSG is like, yeah. it's just like front and But spell. I like it that it's so dummy proof. It's like, you <laughs> yes. yes. too. Yes, sir. Like, it's okay. Like, you get to enjoy good food nonetheless. There's no way. Oh. Oh, the star is up. No, the, the star's star is not up. This, this, this screen oh, is, yeah. Okay, PD bye. is doing. No. <laughs> <laughs> we need a, a thing, right, that just goes, Crystal says, okay, bye. <laughs> Mistake has been made. Okay, but yeah. Next. No, the thing is right. Uh, Seven Eleven has a custom uh uh microwave. Mm. It's a one to ten microwave. You don't find it anywhere. Yeah. And exactly. their product is a one to ten rating system. Yeah. So like sometimes right, I like although my house is probably a like a, quite far, I want to cook it using the micro the Seven Eleven microwave one because I know that they have been tell how. You know, like Scully, they say like, own self, bring home a microwave. If your oven is this, this watts, cook for how many, how many minutes? Like, I don't know my oven how many watts. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, then what if I do it? Or like, you know, sometimes tech stuff, it's just like a bit different. Your oven can be 700 watts, but like, it's how you eat it, they operate at like 400 watts, that kind of thing. I don't know lah. I don't trust Electricity tech. is magic to crystal and I, I love it. I don't trust technology. <laughs> I, I, I love, I love <laughs> having uh, this kind of friends. 
Why? Because they think that electricity is magic. <laughs> or technology no, is magic. I don't think. It, it doesn't paint you as a swaku. It just means that you don't <laughs> you don't understand it and you don't bother understanding it because people around you understand it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I leech on people who understand it. Yeah. <laughs> then last time people always like to call me wizard because the, he does some sh- some shit with technology and then it works and then like magic things happen. Mm. Good for you. <laughs> they get very annoyed because they don't understand it but whatever love me how to Yeah, like, like you have me carry. Uh, you have me carry. <laughs> but I like to be called like wizard. Woo-hoo. Wizard. Wizard of tech. Yo, wizard Harry. Wizard Harry. Oh, oh, sorry. I just keep thinking. I keep, keep, keep reading Jelly Bunny. Jelly Bunny. As Jenny Bali. I know you want to stand to swap it. Tongue I'm twister. standing still Bali. <laughs> what the shit? Great tips. Do you want more or less? Go here. Go here. I already kind of have my second. I just want to I already second serving. Huh? I already second serving. What the hell were you, uh, was I doing when you are talking to me at while I'm standing at the light? Oh. <laughs> I like this habit. My significant other is like that. Oh. I can literally like take four servings of food in front of my significant other while we're having conversation. He's like, why are you not eating? I'm like, excuse you. <laughs> or, or as my favorite way of saying that is, ex pardon me. Ex pardon me. Ex pardon me. I've been eating. I'm yeah, doing I, it in front I didn't notice. It's, it's actually very dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you drive? No. Good. I know. I do. I, and I know I'm like that. That's why I don't drive her excuses. But I really don't because I get hello, Ming Zhu. Ni hao. Yeah, definitely cannot drive. Hey, maybe you drive halfway. Some new car come. Oh, new car bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get distracted very easily and I don't work well when I panic. I don't think there's a lot of panicking involved in uh, driving. Especially, like, okay, like, everybody on Instagram, if you're a new driver, you like to panic for, I, I see, first timer sick and comedian sick. Yeah. Then you get content, get views and car stuff, right? Same but here. After a while, you, like, really get chilled out, right? I've, I've seen people who drive uh, who have never looked at the road. Oh, that's scary! It's scary to all the passengers, but that's because this is the road he's been driving all the time. He knows what he's looking at, and what he's actually looking at is his mirrors. Oh, true. But and every day you're putting on the road, same road but different pedestrian. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what half a gang sign, yeah. <laughs> I meant like one person cross here, one person cross there. Then we both cross together, just to see. Yeah. Half base yeah. gang sign. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a gang sign. Anyway. Uh, yeah, lights are off. Yeah, so okay. there are people who are like, you can get very confident very quickly if you mm. drive often. But I don't think you can ever escape the fact that if you have ADHD, that you shouldn't be on the road. Yeah, stop. I know. Actually, I don't have ADHD. Have you actually get it, got it checked? No. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I thought I didn't. But, but then after that, uh, when I went for full army check, then after that, there was psych there. I have my ADHD. Oh, really? Mm. My attention span is very short and I'm very easily triggered if it's boring. Oh, same. You okay. should get it. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you should get it. I thought by right, ADHD is gone after you like hit puberty. No. <laughs> no, it's forever. No. We should have a mental mental issues kind of like. We, we, could, we could have a me- mental health. Health on awareness. Yeah, yeah, mental health awareness. <laughs> also, ADHD can even occur in adults. Yes. Adults. Yes. And it's a little bit more extreme mm-hmm. but the triggering is less because, because you have control yeah because i do feel it like you know sometimes when you feel bored like it's like oh this is boring but mine hits me like a truck mine so is what like, happens after that oh gosh like if i really feel bored in something right my brain switch off uh-huh. like i don't want to be involved in it already unless i force myself to is that normal that's normal right that's normal oh chile i'm normal la. that's normal <laughs> if you if you, like you doctor, have you have doctor a, Ian. if you have ADHD, what when you get bored, what happens is that you constantly find a need to change it. Oh. You want to do something about it. You don't suffer. You act. So some mm. people act by destroying themselves, which mm. is like the extreme ADHD. My ADHD is causing chaos around me. Oh. Then you can tell like, from the previous like stream, right? You can tell I like causing chaos because I'm very easily bored. So when I'm bored, right, I just want to like, oh, what happens if that person suddenly like just starts running? Oh, true. So then you start, start sending stupid shit to the person uh, until oh, the person like, <gasps> everybody, oh, what's wrong, what's wrong? I... Then the person panic, like, oh. Or maybe I do have la. Actually, I don't know eh. I think I you might craft. be tempered to the point that once your ADHD happens, you realise that society just doesn't allow you to do it. You have more to lose acting on your ADHD than uh, not. And therefore, you just temper down yourself. Like a oh. lot of... Uh, women, especially in like uh, the, the, the Asian Asian society, they tend not to uh, exert 
Sure, sure, thank you. They tend not to exert the influence of like the mental uh, side, side effects of uh, the health, simply because uh, the, our, the way our society is taught la, it's not okay for people to act out. Yeah, that's why yeah. people give you shit for acting out. That's why after a while people suffer from mental a lot. Your spoon? Hey, spoon? No spoons, uh. Why? Nah, the soup? soup oh. <laughs> I would like to scoop some soap Sops. into your <laughs> Oh, I got a soap story. What soap? Back in the day. Have you ever... Okay, I, I, I'm going to ask a stupid you question. You say soap story as in cool soap story or soap as in soup? Soap as in like... Our uh, Spooderman talk as... has gotten way out of it. <laughs> Yours would... Soap as in like soap. Like soap. face out, face out. Oh, this is probably a new verb. <laughs> like introduce a new element. It's all spelled the same, but... Yeah, okay, okay. okay. Thank, uh, good luck, second language learners. So trying to do it English. <laughs> okay, so have, uh, I'm gonna still ask you this, but have you ever cooked uh, bitter gourd? Nope. So if you cook bitter gourd, right, you're supposed to like like massage it so that all the juices come out. Oh. So that it won't be so bitter. Oh, that's cute. But the problem with that is that it's a bit like waxy and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that looks like soap. Okay. Right. If you let you use a bitter gourd for soap, right? Did you? Did you? No. Oh, okay. You continue. The story is I thought my grandma was trying to poison my mom by washing the food with actual soap. <gasps> so I went to tell my mom, uh, mom, your mom <laughs> might be an evil person. And oh, this, was, this was me at like nine years old, right? Oh, no. Coming back and be like, mom, uh, we <laughs> mom, we need to have a talk. <laughs> yeah, and I was trying to be as serious as possible. But imagine like, we are like a small, I'm a small wee like going, well, we, we, we need to talk. And she's like, bro, what's happening? Like, I think, so I think, I think grandma's poisoning you. <laughs> and then she's like, what? Grandma wants you dead. <laughs> yeah. It's like she's using soap to wash the bitter god. And oh. I think if you eat soap, like you tell me you will die. Thank you. <laughs> right. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah. Then my mom was like, ha 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 ha. Then after that, my granny was like, okay, that's where I got my mischievous streak from. Because my granny refuses to let me know things. Oh. <clears throat> until I'm, Okay, if I told you as a child, what the hell are you gonna do with that information? Right? Okay. Her logic is that you rather I rather give your brain space a small little head. She <laughs> let you continuously believe that she did it. Yeah. Because she wants the brain space right for me to study. So I tell, tell her the truth is no point. Not like I'm gonna cook anything up. That's quite funny. So at the it end when I'm like slightly you. older already, right? And I was just like, why does Granny cook cook uh bitter gob with soap? Is that like an old wise tale? I was like, no, it's just like when you do it, it just happens like that because the juice is like that. I was like, ah! Oh! They like you, you continuously believe that for years. I mean, like, it didn't matter to me because everybody ate it and nobody died. Yeah, true. So I thought that was so, the way like, to do. Oh, that's the, the kampong way. La. Yeah, like, yeah. That's the, the, the old wife way. And I, I never never questioned it. And, and like, I never cook bitter gourd because I hate it, right? So it doesn't matter to me. And okay. I wouldn't tell people to wash with soap because I'll get judged. Because that's actually poison. Oh, I remember when you were scooping already. Because when I made this sound, <laughs> like, you reminded me, like, you're standing here just now. Then I hear that sound. I heard that sound. Oh damn! Okay, it's all coming back, guys. Yeah, yeah. This this kind of people are the scariest. Simply to me, lah, to me. Simply because I've lost moments in my life before from like head injury. Oh. And having people just like lose understanding and perception and gain it back later, right? Without and, injury. Yeah. It it is like very crazy. Like your brain is so malleable. Yeah, yeah, Useless yeah. at the same point as <laughs> so useful, you know. Like, it keeps all your memories in your head. So, it's gonna imagine, okay, sorry, but I hope I don't touch you, I don't find myself in this situation. It's gonna go to police station, right? Right when they need you to remember, then, like, I don't remember anything. Then, after, pan, si sing ya. Then, after, like, actually, I remember. Wah, that one, sen, right, yeah. will no longer be a uh, uh, justifiable law if I'm not mm. wrong. Because oh. that's considered a retractment of your statement, oh. and that's no longer useful. Yeah, that's Law right. is very interesting. I, so, I feel media law. I mean, media law is lame lah. It's just people I trying feel- to protect their shit so yeah, that I feel media law. they get more money out I didn't it. get it. During my media law um course, right, I mm. thought too much. I think too much. Like, because you're supposed to say, oh, so-and-so posted this online. Is it infringement of copyright? Blah, blah, blah. But then there are certain ways. Like, if you do it as a parody, if you do it as like, a, 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 like you change the audio and you like take out snippets of it, it's not the whole original content on its own. But like, uh, uh, like you edited it, then it's not considered like kind of nonsense lah. Then like, huh? But what if? But what if? Then you know, like, I feel it. <laughs> Media law was a similar thing, okay? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah I cannot. Eh. First, it's quite logical. Oh, you took it lah. I was supposed to come in poly. Oh, uh, you see, you see ah. Uh, sorry, all the people who took mass comm in poly, right? Then when they go with Kimi, right? All the courses they do before already. Yeah, what's the point? Yeah, it's damn cheap lah. Then over here, some stupid JC 
easy key ah. just like oh, let's go to Milky Way then yeah, okay, but, fail this but to be yeah. fair if you went to JC you shouldn't really go to Mass Corp I know right because you spent two years mugging for everything that has nothing to do with Mass Corp and then you suffer for it and nothing you learn in JC will help you Mass Corp yeah so that was one thing like I, I yeah but I kind of went to Mass Corp because I didn't know what I to do yeah, that's, that's literally why yeah. I went to Mass Corp and Poly because I didn't want to do JC. Yeah, I didn't know what to do. Why yeah. would I want to talk H2 Chem, yeah, H2 Bio, And I marked my life, eh. I marked for my life out of it. Lah. Jeez, yeah. yeah. I lost a part of my youth in Marine College. The only college. problem <laughs> back then was that I, I feel that older generation was dictating where we're supposed to go with education. Yes, correct. And they are not very aware of the fact that in Poly, or rather, uh, you can actually do well and have portfolio and submit that yes. as your uni entrance and still get it. You just need to be the cream of the crop. And like oh. a lot of self no me man, no oh. me man. I thought you need to be at least like the like GPA don't know what then can can get and it's all bell curve what. No. In body, uh so i I think if I'm not wrong, the GPA is four. Max is four. Oh look, it's very super it's very thick now. Yeah, the average GPA is three. Right? You just need to be slightly better than average, which is like three point five. And it's not really that hard. Okay. Depending on what you're taking, like if you go and take like biochemical science, ah, then that's your port of call and you decide to suffer yourself, ah, right? Okay. But if we're talking about like in poly, if you want to take mass comm, like I apply, I got to Wikimedia and decide not to take it. Because oh, I realized that I'll just It's the doing... same. Yeah, it's exactly the same. My friend from poly who took mass comm is just like, oh, actually, all this we do before. Like, yeah. What the hell, Sia? Like, I feel bad for her and I feel bad for me. <laughs> I, I sometimes feel bad for the people in uni who fail mass comm mm. because if I manage to do it as an 18 year old, your brain should be bigger than. True. But the problem is that the people who fail MESCOM are usually the JC. Yeah. Because and their brain has been wired to like Yes. Mark, exactly. And you cannot mark MESCOM. Yeah, you don't mark <laughs> one. Like, that's the thing. So like, no one really... You know how, okay, I was just having this conversation with my friend yesterday. You know how some schools overseas, and maybe the ones in Japan, right, they have like, when you hit 16 years old, you're supposed to fill out a form on like, what you want to do next time. And then like, mm-hmm. you sit down one-to-one with your home ed teacher, uh, whatever it's called now, your form teacher, and then they'll kind of guide you. Thank you, Thank Coke. you Coke. Yeah, and then they kind of guide... <laughs> <laughs> I my from brain her. is all over the place. I learned from her because the time during our talking shit, I halfway through shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow. And it's quite regular interval yeah. after I watch back. Yeah. It's like, wow, she's getting pro at this. The PPL game yeah. show. <laughs> product, oh yeah, yeah, product plays a lot. Like PPL, yeah, yeah. Okay, anyway. Yes. So after they're like, they'll sit down with you and they'll talk like, oh, what do you want to do next time? Mm. That kind of thing. What do you think of that? I think it's rubbish. Because it's like your brain not even developed by Correct. then to know what you want, right? Correct. But then how is, is there any, uh, is there any other better way than to like infuse some sort of guidance so that people don't end up like me? Uh, just parents don't give them shit for changing course midway through a body shop. Oh, do you change midway? No. Oh, you have friends who change midway? Yeah, a lot. Oh. Oh. So a lot of people came to MassCom thinking that MassCom is first easy, and it is. Let's be real, if you're not dumb, it's easy AF, right? Uh, the the problem with people saying that that's not true is because um, they've been studying a lot and usually mm. they are quite sheltered by helicopter parents, unfortunately. Because mm. you're precious, like you're the only child, right? Mm. So you don't have a lot of exposure to like street problems. Mm. It sounds like very gangster street problem, but no, like you got street smart and like intelligence, ma, right? So street mm. smart require you to deal with street problems. Mm. So if you don't experience that, right, mass comm will be a very hard thing for you to understand. Mm. Because there is like, okay, I'm going to teach you, for example, like copyright law. Yeah. Okay, um, according to copyright law, if I remember correctly from my poly course, yes, you're not allowed to upload wholesale. Mm. Um, you can do it as critique. You can yeah. do it as parody. Yeah. So if I do critique and I upload the entire thing, right, and then I uh basically just upload wholesale and I do introduction Thank and you. end critique, is that yeah. considered piracy? So for example, let's say the movie ah, uh, one hour lah. Uh, Okay, so my uh, my my actual video is one hour twenty minutes. Ten minutes intro of uh me saying, oh this thing is shit, this thing is shit. By the way, enjoy my piracy. That's what I say, ah. Uh. Mm. Then at the end, this thing is good. This thing is good. No, I, hope I think you your hormones still be taken down. By words, right? Mm. That if you're a JC kid, right, you read the the word law. That is a yes. Mm. That's a lot. Mm. But in actual fact, no, no, yeah. Because the law doesn't have presiding overriding. Uh, order written into it simply because for the lawyers to fight ah, and space for them to actually say like give them room la, right yes. room because if you put absolute law right nobody will be able to convince anybody else yeah. instead of just 
true this person is insane, mm. he has to plead for insanity. If mm. not, yeah, there's no room to argue. So the law has to be flexible enough so that also, if let's say I'm doing it, let's mm. say I, I'm the government and I want to steal your I'm work, right? What I can do is I can upload your shit wholesale and put credit mm. and claim that what I'm doing is giving you more exposure. Yeah. And therefore, it's considered a critique of your piece. That i.e. I think it's good and I should show it to people. Yeah. That, if let's say our uh, government do something and we go upload wholesale, will always be in reverse. Because, mm. unfortunately or fortunately, the government is also uh, liable for its own laws. Mm-hmm. So it has to write it in a way so that yeah, someone will People will like, like yo, so you're not going to pull us, just throw it up and yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, their lawyers need to be able to run. So that is why it's written that way. And if you're a JC kid, right, it's like if you learn bio biochemical science, right, it's like A plus B equals C. You yep. come here and apply to mass com, right? A plus B yep. does there is no C. Yep. It's still A. Then yes. you're like, why is it A? It's like, yeah. That is very difficult to wire the brain. Yeah. That was like my main problem. I liked other things. Like I took advertising, I took like graphic comms, that kind of nonsense. Stuff that I naturally already like. Like designing. So like that one like woo fly, but then like things like about I uh, like the research part. I think the research part is the only thing that was applicable for me. Like because, applicable means like you can use the JC skills. Yes, because like research, like citation, this kind of thing. Like of course lah. Like it's just. I hate. I sure. I sure. Like because okay, I think it's interesting when like you try to disprove or like prove something. A lot of people like researching because they like reading. Oh yeah. I'm not a reader yeah. kind of person. Need but some creativity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I find the same same joy yes, right in uh advertising as you. It's like okay, mm. advertising is damn obvious, right? If you know what they're doing. But if you don't yeah. know what they're doing, it still looks like magic. Yes, yes, right? yes. Yeah. And once you understand the mechanics of it, right, it's like, oh I have never wasted my time here because everything you learn is like applicable. Mm. And the best part is advertising is so good, right? That you know what is happening, <laughs> but you're still <laughs> susceptible to it. <laughs> You're like, I call out. So like, why is there no continuity in front yeah. of the ad? Like, very good, eh? <laughs> yeah, no, sometimes I like, like where I, I know it's like, you know, like, okay, I want to really like, it's the man- got one thing called monday.com. Uh. Like, it's obvious it's an ad because it's on YouTube and it says ad, right? But I still watch it because I appreciate it. I think it's so... Well done. Yeah. It's so good that I'm like, oh, props. <laughs> you know? Yes. Props. Yeah, and it's so cute. Like, oh my gosh, this is some kind of cute idea. Like, yeah. the kind of thing. So... And I'm still susceptible. And by the end of it, I'm like, okay, actually, this is really not bad. Then I feel like, oh my gosh, did I just like blend oh. myself? Yeah, purposefully put myself like through this whole. But I think it's good because every time you fall for an advertising trick, right, you kind of understand what works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, oh, so doing doing this kind of like stuff, this strategy works. It makes me feel this way. Yeah, that kind it, of thing. Uh, the strategy that Monday.com's ad use personally is called the teach. The so the teach mm. is a concept that originates from a board game. Okay. So a board game has the thing called the teach where if I have a complex board game, I yes. need to sequence the, the teaching rules in a correct order okay. that makes sense to a person who understands nothing about yes. it. Yes. Right? So like the kind of like nar- narrative, kind of like first person point of view ish la. Like this in like you know how okay, do we say in the Sherlock Holmes series, mm. Dr. Watson is supposed to be like a mirror for the audience. So, or whatever mm-hmm. mystery series, there'll always be this one person just asking the damn questions. Like, oh my god, they're oh, yeah, okay in the yeah. game. But that's basically to make sure your audience follows through. Even for the ones who don't really get it. And then there'll be this character that says like, so what do we do now? Like, it's supposed to mirror and guide the audience along. Like, uh, um, Is uh, that it? plot. Okay, so, so plot devices, i.e. Uh, basically the dumping the plot <laughs> the, the plot dumper character right it's slightly different from the teach the teach is not for example let's say let, let's do <coughs> math okay. for you to understand what 2 times 2 is mm. how many steps do you think there are for a person who has never encountered math to teach the person ah, to teach the person 2 times 2 I need to teach them what is numbers uh-huh. I need to teach them I need to teach them addition and subtraction. Correct. Only after that, then I can teach them multiplication. Correct. So yeah. that's the teach. Yeah. The teach is the concept of first numbers. Yeah. yeah. And then, <coughs> uh, like what she said. So mm-hmm. in a in a board game kind of setting, that means that first you need to uh teach them how to win, because mm-hmm. you're playing the game to win. After that, you will teach them how, uh, to get to the winning condition, mm-hmm. and then the actions that can take to lead you to doing what you need to do to win in order mm-hmm. to win. So oh. everything needs to link back. So Monday.com does the same thing where it's. You they explain to you your current problem okay. and then what your end goal is, which is uh, yeah. you have a shit day and yep. you want to organize your shit. Yep. Wouldn't it be good if you have all these tools which are you yes. wanted to solve the shit day and the shit tools? Here is what we provide for you that is 
gonna give you these tools for you to fix your shit day. And yeah. shit. So it keeps referring back through that same uh, logic. Mm-hmm. And the teach is so good. Yeah. <clears throat> Grammarly, however, is just horrible. Yeah. I, <laughs> Grammarly ads are bad. Sorry, but, but like no, but this is a, this I don't is a, this is a I don't yeah the thing is but with the S is I don't see how it applies to me because there isn't a scenario like the so called scenarios they paint or like the kind of like here is the demand you know by saying that oh going through your homework be it for interviews be it for this that they're trying to like find areas where people can relate and like yeah I I always find problem when I have interview and I don't know how to phrase my cover letter for example uh. but people won't think that way. Because you're just stating like interviews, this, that, but without any details. So like if you do it by your way, like Monday.com, like the teach, like they'll put it, they'll always paint a picture where like this someone say like, oh my gosh, it's damn tough, blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, you like the old tele, tele no, marketing uh, things? No, but this isn't that Monday.com. That's no. what they do. Uh. There's these two no. guys sitting down <clears throat> and then like, oh, I like that one because there's a loop. I like, okay, there's this Monday.com advertisement whereby two of the same guy, imagine I'm just another Ian with a bruise in my face. And then after it's like, oh, I need more than one person to do it. Then who are you? I say, I'm you. Then oh, like, no, 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 no. Uh, no, it's the, it's the one that's functional where it just explains to you, okay, like, have, uh, have a have, uh, uh, have a problem. Like, you oh. need this, da, 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 then after that, it's like just a voiceover. There's no acting. There's ah. no acting. So it's, it's just, that's the teach. The yep. problem with scenario-based things is that it's very hard, Nature. right? Oh. No, it's very hard for you to get it correct to the point that you don't become like you know those uh J- JM uh, JMV uh, movies. Oh okay. Where they're trying to sell you like steamers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever yeah. Uh, uh, ever had to tie your shoes but you <laughs> just can't do it? <laughs> no, oh! yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know for entertainment yeah. though. It, it's very close to that. Yeah, right? yeah. And you can tell, right? So basically in the spectrum there is uh, like I would say money.com which mm. I think it's a bit overused the scenario thing yes. in the center is what a mobile game ads are mm. hey you are level 10 mob boss I am a level 1 no, no no one is them okay, okay that's okay. in the center yeah, then yeah, you yeah. have the GMT can't tie your shoes here's oh. how to do it Buy this now. Then Buy yeah. this now and remove all shoe tying issues that yeah. kind of nonsense. but if Don't. you ask me which one I enjoy GMT oh. because they are very tongue in cheek about the fact that they know this yeah, so yeah, yeah. Overplay. Yeah. Okay, as in, I, I kind of get it because, like, sometimes I just need people to paint me a picture. I just mm. people, I just people need to tell me that you have this issue. I don't have. No, 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 you have. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, yeah, I have. <laughs> you know, that's what advertisement does. It points, that's what everything does. Like, it points out stuff that you think you don't really need. People but you just, they just tell you straight away, no, you need it. And I'm like, yes, I need it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's quite funny. It's quite funny. Okay, but the money.com one, the one that I like is because like, okay, it depends on what kind of intention, random segue, but it depends on what kind of intention you want your ad to drive. Mm. Like, you want people to capture your attention. So although they took on the JMV, it's called JMV, right? Mm. Approach. But the main point is to capture your attention so that you'll just continue watching just for the sake of entertainment. So that it stays in your brain, like what it did for me now. And I tell people about it. But I still don't really know what Monday.com does. Oh, interesting. I know what Monday.com does. Oh, yeah, as in, it, like, the full... The, I don't know what the real contents of what they talk about. Yeah, I, I know from oh. that one end. Oh, 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 oh. So that's yeah, why you I, can I see. Yeah. I think it's quite interesting because mm. I am a factual person. I do logic. I do, mm. like, programming. Mm. Crystal is a very free-form artistic creative mm. thing. So that's how different ads sing. And that's why they do two different kinds of ads. Yeah. Like, it's to attract yeah, yeah, yeah. people. So it's like, until now, I still remember, oh, I love that time loop thing. It's so creative. But I don't know what they talked about. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the problem, right? So if you fall for that kind of ad, did they scam you? Because the only thing that you're buying, right, is the advertisement. Yeah. You're not buying the product. Yeah. So is that considered a scam? I guess so. No, it's not. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I'm not buying the product. But they scam me of my time to watch the No, no, no. So let's say if you buy money.com from the ad. Oh. Did they scam you? Why is it a scam? Because you don't know what the product does, you bought it because of the ad. Oh, not really. It is. Oh, really? False advertising. Oh, that's why I feel media law. Yeah. <laughs> See? This is really fun. This is what happens, is right. Yeah. Um, if you, if, for example, if yeah. you play a mobile game, and the mm. mobile game tells you that they're hot babes, and then you turn on the game, they are hot babes, but there's no game. Oh, oh that's false. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, but if, Monday... Oh. If they attract you to a product mm. that they don't tell you anything about. Okay. And you bought it. Okay. The thing is, they did tell me... But I don't remember. It's on me, right? No, man? No. Because it needs to be over. 
Ah. So you. I so mean, what if I'm just forgetful? That's why they don't get lawsuits because they are preying on people who are True. dumb. They True. just they just do things where I don't tell you anything. It looks like cool. You buy it. After that, you realize you don't yeah. use it. Good for me. Well, I get your money. I don't care. If you cannot remember to uh, to take offense against me, then I get my money, ma. Yeah, lor. It's good. It's not say that like uh like people like Crystal who can't remember is bad because that means right their marketing is strong. Mm. And at the end of the day, sometimes the product can be lousy, but the marketing is good as long as you get good mind share. Mm. Some people like to pay the price for it. You know what's a Gucci shirt? A Gucci shirt is the same Thailand yeah. sweatshop shirt. Yeah. Just printed the thing. Why is it good? Because yeah. the marketing is good. Yeah. Why is Nike worth five hundred dollars for a pair of shoes? Because the marketing is good. Mm-hmm. Mm. How's it different from those like other stores or what? How's it different from another kind of sneaker with like similar design? Not much different. The yeah. the only one that is controversial is one pair of Adidas sneakers. Oh, the black, the black, the devil one, the six 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 one. No, 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 no. The one that has a uh, new material in it that has sponge. Oh, that no, actually no one. uh uh clinically proven to reduce uh. No, oh, that one knee Oh no, sorry, wrong and, one. Uh, also, a uh, spring to make you run faster. She she has the one where it's all the devil and juice one. Uh. Mine is very like. <laughs> if you buy this shoe and you wear it to the Olympics, they might consider it mechanical doping. Oh what the hell! Because you have. An is that unfair- getting your knees replaced? Something altered, like altered. that. Something like that. Like because of an uh, injury, then I need to put that thing in my knee. But then they'll say, but you have that thing in your knee. Yeah, so if so let's say your knee it. operates at a faster interval than yeah. everybody else <laughs> due to uh, a mechanical thing, yeah. that's mechanical doping. Right? Mm. So, mechanical doping. it's so strange to the point that... But like, I didn't, they'll be like, I didn't ask for this, that kind of thing. No, they did. They ask for the sponsorship, then they have to wear the shoe. Oh yeah, huh? That you cannot run out of mechanical doping. The problem mm. is, is it actually mechanical doping? So here's the question, right? Mm. If I'm allowed to wear whatever helps me win the thing, yeah, okay, and I earn the ability to wear the thing. But the thing is, I don't think it should be considered mechanical doping, though. Why? Because it's just like okay, based on the law, I'm going in my point of view. Mm. Based on the logic that it just serves to improve your performance, yes. which is what every shoe, most of the sports shoes, aim to do. Just that one is one works better than the others. Why is that one that works called mechanical doping and not the others? So everybody has chemicals in their body. I eat one extra chemical to mm. make me better than I. Yeah, yeah. Why is it considered doping? Yeah, like vitamins. Yeah, but it's still considered doping. The logic here is that Olympics or major games mm-hmm. want fairness. That yeah. means that everybody should have uh, basically a very obvious start line mm-hmm. and everything else is skill. So right? everything is based on your innate body, the natural, right? Yeah, your ability to train or your talent. Lah, okay? yeah. So here the problem is that this shoe is clinically proven to be different from others. Every other shoe is just a shoe. It fits your leg better. It makes you run better. Why? Because you're not running barefoot. This shoe literally makes you that no matter who wears it, you run faster. Is that mechanical doping? So the problem here, right, that my favourite argument of this is the The Olympics is about skill. Mm-hmm. Okay? The fact that I am able to train in the mountains and run faster Mm-hmm. Is my skill to tahan the training to yeah. get what I want to do to yeah. perform better. Yeah. So if I have the skill to acquire better equipment to make me run better, it's also considered my own skill. Correct. Yeah, I don't get how uh, it's very stupid. Sorry, like if like just cause it's clinically proven to improve, it simply means that the rest are just not good enough to be clinically proven. But they all serve the same purpose. So based on that logic alone, how can you, like, say that this shoe is mechanical doping? And the because, rest but okay la, so in, in that, that test right the technically proven means that every shoe that usually people wear this shoe performs the best so everyone yeah. has been clinically proven to be fair mm. except for this one shoe this one shoe is guaranteed 100% of the time to make you run fat, much better then what about clinically proven shirts <laughs> you want to go into the shoes what about the tights what about the underwear yeah there, they are they are what the so hell? you know if you go luging right which is Luging's basically ball. like uh, you jump into like a uh, 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 flat board with like two ice skates and you go oh, down like that thing. Yeah. They wear aerodynamic suits. Yeah. Swimmers also do that. Yeah. Simply because they shave themselves so that they're aerodynamic. Yeah. These are clinically proven things that everyone has access to. Yeah. That's why it's not a problem. Oh, uh, everyone has access to. Okay. So if you're a dumb F who cannot get the sponsorship, what happens to you? You're no longer qualified to compete because you're poor. Yeah, but that's because you're not capable enough to get the sponsorship. 
Right. Ah, so basically, yeah. uh, Olympics is basically who's richer. Ah, true lah. Capable. Right. So at the end of the day, right, does it want to become a, a situation in which the they Ugandan only people, the rich yes, they can sprint. Uh, but as long as the white people have more money, they win the Olympics. So that's the problem about mechanical doping. And I love the idea that they can discount your ability to be a so person. So the, the ban of mechanical doping is just like a, a there's no on like rich privilege. There is no ban. No because ban there, are more, ah. there, there are more people who are capitalist in the argument yeah. than suffering Ugandans trying to actually run. So, so they are just trying <coughs> to make the playing field more even against those who are not, say, the activists, la. La. the activists are, but nobody gives a shit. Mm-hmm. Because, like, technically speaking, if you're talented, you can outrun them one. And I cannot buy talent one. So you just be talented. La. If right. you're born different, then you run. It's true, but like, I run like shit. That was the whole point, man. I mean, you won't run like shit and go to the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, mean, like, no, no, I have this shoe, but like, maybe I'm not the best out of the whole team. You might become the best because of the shoe. And the problem is, right, the clinical trial, when they researched it, the mm. top three runners that had never placed in the previous Olympics, managed to outrun all them. wore the oh. shoes. That, that's why it becomes a big deal. When people who never placed becomes top three, and they all wear the shoe, what is happening? Yeah, they train yeah. well, la. maybe they go mountain, just yeah. the water for ma, you don't maybe know. Maybe last time they suck, but now they very tired. And What's fa- it because of the shoe? My favourite conspiracy theory is, I think this was done, so that they get marketing. Yeah. And that's how we tie in the yeah. subject. Yes. <laughs> Advertising this way is really dope. Mm-hmm. If it's so good to the point that like Olympics are causing a hoo-ha, calling mechanical doping, why don't you just buy it? It's only mm-hmm. $299. Huh? Oh, really? Yeah. I thought it'd be like 10 quite. Yeah. No. Because the, the material that they make, now this material size very, 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 very like up. Yeah? Yes, yeah. There's the sponge. There's this one thing called this orange gel that is like, uh, it's like slime, imagine, right? Okay, slime. But if you impact it with strong force, it solidifies itself. So it's oh like, my, you know like that, the cornstarch when like you add water. Starch, but this this one can withstand bullets. <gasps> so the the my favorite thing was the scientist, <laughs> right? Just taking a little and then she just plop it on the thing. Goes, hmm. Then this random scientist just take one hammer, bang, and her, her hand is absolutely fine. Just take a hammer, like full swing from the back, like I am a murderer trying to kill you. Boom, nothing happens. Imagine that moment where like the thing suddenly has like a glitch and it fails to do the yeah. Thing. Then you just break your hand off. But they are they're trying to think of um carrying it around for war. The only okay. problem is that if you carry that much around you, because usually you wear but it's like, it's, like it's gonna be very heavy. Yeah. Because they're carrying water bags. And then like you could you could you could you like it's yeah. so But I mean it saves your life. Mm. And then all the time like you ask the army, I mean you wear a bulletproof vest or so is it heavy? I've never tried it's bu- a bulletproof vest is heavy. Heavy. Yeah, it's the same thing, what? <laughs> Not really. Because a bulletproof vest is solid. Mm. So have you ever carried bags around you? I mean okay. Oh then you weren't really like, I like how so I much. like how this is the thing, but yes, like mm. uh, there, there's this experiment where guys uh actually wear fake boobs, which is ice, uh, this ha- uh, harness with mm-hmm. weights, and they're like decups. And the first thing that guys experience is like when you run, it swings and it hits you by the side. You yeah. get bruising very easily. Oh yeah, it's the same logic as like you carrying water. Yes, cause it's like yeah, it just goes everywhere. Yeah, yep, and yep. a lot of them are downloading, and because your straps, your shoulder only got that much space to hold it. Yes. Yeah. Whereas like Kevlar is like proper. Can you imagine? If- on the liquid car, on the liquid on the liquid floor behind it, it's like that. It's short, yeah. Then do it. I'm pretty sure it will like develop. Like, <laughs> like, like it will develop. Oh, like, well, I should turn around, actually. Yeah, no, 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 Yeah, it's kidding. Also, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, wait. I was about to say something that I completely forgot. Damn it. Bullets. No, no, no. Marketing, it was, it was advertising. Before that, then there was like some shoe thing there. I wanted to say something that I completely forgot. Anyway, yeah, th- there will always be another day for me to talk about nonsense. Yeah. yeah. So overall, how would you rate this? Uh, I am not, I don't know, like, if it's spicier, I'll give it a higher score. If it's not spicy, and naturally... What are you trying to do? Why does the mouse not go over? Why does the mouse not go over? To that side. Because it's a different screen. But last time they can link. What are you trying to do? I will, like... Give the star, I yeah, screw it. Uh. You don't have to use the star, man. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wait, wait, how does that, wait, how does that train of thought work in your head? Explain that to us. What do you mean? You have just encountered a new tool mm-hmm. that the, okay, so we have a star rating system. The, yeah, the star rating system is black, all yeah. five blacks. Mm-hmm. And you have no idea how to use it. So you just want to put it on the screen. Yes, and try it for fun. 
Let's just watch that happen, right? Yeah, let's yeah, yeah. actually watch that happen. Because I'm very curious now of how that works. Uh, oh. I am actually quite interested in watching Crystal Struggle. Like, if you don't already know, la, right? Okay, wait, uh, let me just return this uh, to here. And then, okay. It's nah, all about go. them experiments. The struggle. Okay. But I want this thing, so I'm gonna delete. No, I don't think I should delete. I should delete. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. She's she's like doing like like uh, OBS things, and she's just like block, bucking around. I just blocked the last one. <laughs> it's fun to watch her be chaotic. It's very it's very big. <laughs> Luckily, PD not here to like. Okay, then what happens? Okay, goodbye. Okay, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> oh no! Okay, I think, I think, I think, I think. Oh, where, where did this go to? Okay, goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Oh my god, goodbye! Okay, on this you can see we have a <laughs> star screen. Just roll with it. On this you can see we have a star screen. One star, five star, we will never know. But to us, the star is in our heart. <laughs> Okay, so basically what you see is actually a CSS element. That CSS element has to be controlled by the CSS programming. And I know that because I've watched PD implement this thing. But she was like, I'm just going to brave it out. Like. <laughs> Claps to you for braving it out, you know. But watching her struggle, just like... I mean, she ex... <laughs> okay, this, this, is, this, this is how... I, like, this is my favourite interaction between wizard and like... I would say, normal oh. common village villagers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Right, yes. villagers will just be like, oh, magic must be very obvious to you, so I'm going to click on the star. Because that was what she was trying to do, she yeah. click on the star to make it toggle. <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, that's not how magic works. <laughs> <laughs> but big ups for uh, her trying, I appreciate the, the fact that she was like, I don't know how to use it, I want to try. Yeah. yeah so. It's okay, and now we have a huge ass rating with no rates. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I, I mean, I don't know how, how uh, uh, PD implemented the CSS, so mm. yeah, we don't want to mess with it, don't know what's happening. Anyway, uh, yeah, actual rating, let's talk about actual yeah, rating. Yeah, actual rating, okay. Five stars, uh, instead of percentage, oh. five stars. Uh-huh, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm, in terms of taste, uh, <laughs> we should only taste, right? right? Huh? You know, like, uh, uh, five or oh, ten yes! spoons. What should be our thing for today? Five, uh... Did you let me... You know, like, you know, like, movie reviews of popcorn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The oh, that's all okay. Instead of, like, the review. I don't know what she was trying to do with it. I thought you were trying to say that, you know, people hold up the circle and then they turn. Oh, they no, turn. No, no, no. So, right, we don't have a circle. So, I only have my palm and then have my other palm. So, my rating, <laughs> I hide. And then, my rating is... <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's do, let's do, uh, Da Hong Pao Te Oolong Oolong Tea. Okay, so you have to say the whole thing. It da is... Hong Pao... Okay, that, that is 10, uh. No, so it uh it's either one ta hong pao te ulong uh, ulong te ulong tea, tea out of te uh, five ta hong pao te ulong te ulong tea. ulong tea yes te ulong the flavor ulong tea is the type. <laughs> For a moment, I thought one is in Malay, one is in English. Te ulong ulong tea. It is no. Yeah, I was thinking like, is it the different language? Yeah, it is. Right. Yeah, te ulong is Malay for ulong tea. Yeah, ulong tea, right? Because yeah. it's actually the same thing, but yes. like just. So you yeah, must say Hong Pao, Teh Oolong, Oolong Tea. Teh Oolong, Oolong Tea. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm going to give what example. Uh, if it's a full full five stars, it's going to be five Tao Pao, Teh Oolong, Oolong Tea. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we do advertising, guys. We force mine share down your throat by saying the product name of it over again. Oh my gosh. Um, to be honest, to be honest, mm. as a Japanese ramen noodle, i give it like a 3.5 Tao Pao Teh Oolong Oolong Tea Nice <laughs> I was, like I was the... expecting like as a Japanese ramen connoisseur <laughs> okay, whoa, 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 where are we going with this? <laughs> but as an instant ramen, I'll give it like 4 Tao Pao Teh Oolong Oolong Tea 4 I, I, I will 5 give it... will be Ichiran la. I will get. I wouldn't even give 5 to Ichiran Oh sorry Like Ichiran will be like a 4 Tao Pao Pao uh, Tao Pao Oolong uh, Teh Oolong Oolong Tea <laughs> Yes it's but, like the, you know, we play King's Cup and then it's the rule. Yeah, it's fun, <laughs> right? We should do this on stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. You will never do this. And we can do a Tao Pao Teo Long Long Tea. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but I think this is still a 
3. I'd definitely give it 2.5. I don't think it's mm. anything special. Yeah, it just tastes like very yummy. Yeah, so verdict, uh, 3.5, 2.5, Tao Hao, Tae Long Long Tea. Tae Long Long Tea. Long Long Tea. There are too many like <laughs> meme quotes. Purple Uncle, Tae Long Long Tea. Pew Pew. Tao Pao. Yes. Tao Pao. 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 It's, do you think the Pao is the, 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 the blue? Or like the Pao. <laughs> yeah, which part? I tend to veer towards the Pum, but I know it's the blue. Uh. Makes ah, more pao, sense, pao. right? But it sounds like a red cannon. Yeah, like red cannon. <laughs> you know, like, you red. know, it's a so funny, funny name. Maybe the tea red cannon funny. tea. Yeah, Whoa. Red. If not, it'd just be big red brew. Big red. <laughs> That's not even less legit than red cannon tea. <laughs> it's just very scam. Have the big red brew today. <laughs> oh, it's a bit weird. It's a wee bit weird. Oh, I got things. Yeah, I think. Th- it's just because it's like an incomplete <laughs> dish in my head and cannot get it out. So that's why it, it, it tastes like what it tastes like. Mm. Um, in comparison, uh, I'm the kind of trash person who eats Shin Ramyeon all the time. What's that? Oh, um, Shin Ramyeon. Yeah, it's the oh, one they fry the Korean one. one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like it. Of, I, I love it simply because you can cook it to the point where it's chewy or like absolute garbagely yeah. mush and still be nice. Yeah, yeah. The so the it's like a dummy food. Nice. Oh my god, Italiano! Italiano flavor, flavor! <laughs> How would an Italian say flavor? Flavor! Flavor! <laughs> flavor! No, don't shoot me down. It's okay. a flavor! It's a flavor! Flower! Flower! I like to do accents, it's so fun! But I probably like when people, the real person speaking the actual language, she was probably too sure, like a uh, tall bleed. Uh. They won't understand you. Yeah! They and won't that's, understand. The, that's the brilliant part, because we only catch the stereotypical part. Yes, of it. the media parts of it. Not the actual useful part. Yeah! You know, like, oh my gosh, uh, random, but my friend, right, who is learning the American accent, that friend, uh, she said a lot of people, because when they watch, like media, right, and like American shows, they think that the Valigo accent is the natural American accent. Oh, oh, oh. You oh. know, like the everything is sounds like a question. You just oh. ask and talk as though everything is a question. Shall we go here? Or like, I feel like having water. Like, it's always like, na na, na na, the up talk. Oh, they call it up talk. Yeah, yes. so, but it's not. That's not how the real accent sounds like. And we wouldn't know unless we watch a lot of sitcom dramas and not chick flicks. Or we go to America. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because yeah. the only entertaining people in America is either like really smart people mm-hmm. or valley girls. Because <laughs> that's what reality TV oh, is. Like, yeah, like, you like, know, like Love Island is just... Yeah. Oh my god. This is the one he will attend Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's kind of hot. Yeah, so it's like... I, I maybe into it. I'm into it. Girl. Oh, hell no. Yeah, so it's like... um Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's the same. <clears throat> For other languages as well. Uh, my my favorite new thing that I've discovered because my friend took a master's in linguistics. I, I she big brain. Right? I do my degree. I want to take masters. Master's in linguistics. And she says the easiest way to learn sing uh learn English if you're American or in uh European or whatever, right? Just drop all your R's. Ah. Okay. Flower. Flower. <laughs> Flower. <laughs> oh, one more thing she said. Asians, right, tend to pronounce replace L's with O's. So like email, like there's an O, but agents send to like email. Are you sending you that email already? I've never heard email before. I heard email, like you got send email or not? Email. It's still L. But your, there's your like, they say they tend to L. move as an O. Like, okay, what other things? Chinese. Wait, let me think. We don't call laopan, aopan. No la, like the ending. Okay, let me think how. Denial is not denial. Denial. It's not denial. They say replace with an O, eh? I don't know. Okay, let me yeah. go find a more examples first. I only know the email is like the most. Email and email. Snail. It's um, still. We, we don't do tell. an overt L. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But we don't change the vowel to an O. It's still a yeah. lazy letter. Yeah. For those of you who are linguists, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know, la. They say, like, we are just like just very efficient in the way we talk. We cut off a lot of things. We cut off the. The, the the ending they cut off we shorten and then like yeah. you know we we don't need a lot of words because it's based on context yes. and we don't communicate without context mm. so that's a lot of simplicity in the language that we use which tell. is very inter- entertaining to people because you don't you don't do tell if you do tell you just be tell yeah <laughs> yeah that's like do tell <laughs> do tell do tell so yeah. yes uh if 
those of you who are uh, intending on joining a, a, a degree and you want to learn stupid things, uh, linguistics and multilingual studies in NTU is pretty fun. Oh. Uh, structure of modern English will kill you, but you will learn things like lay has grammar, uh, lay, law, la, uh, meh has grammar settings. Uh, we have subject verb order for ing, uh, uh, Singlish. Mm-hmm. Can meh cannot be meh, can. Yeah, can meh. But you also cannot go, why can meh? Mm. <laughs> why can why can 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 yes mm. so you will learn that as well so that's interesting because you understand what we're talking about yeah but nobody else does <laughs> <laughs> yeah true though yeah and a lot of people tend to be a lot more polite and it sounds like we sound a little bit more rude. yeah it does for example it let's does. say because uh, we remove all the polite words it's not really. No, no, we, we, we don't replace really it. We replace it with other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, for example, like, uh, uh, like if you go to a restaurant and you want a cup of water, if yeah. you get an or, or, uh, 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 a lao gao or ang yeah. right, they'll come yeah. and, can I have water, please? Yeah. And then just a lot. Then if you just yeah. want water, please. I need water. Uh. <laughs> it is just rude. La. And no, I mean, the worst, what, worst thing that we do is we apologize instead of being polite. Because yeah. we know we're going to offend you. <laughs> Like, sorry, water, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, apologize in advance, uh, first, but here's my root shaft to your yeah. face. Sorry, water, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, and that's sorry. a very Singaporean thing. Yeah, hey, sorry, sorry, but you suck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's, a, that, that's very interesting for like a lot of people, especially uh, my, my friends who are like trying to learn Singlish because mm. they find it very fun to say. Oh, okay. Because there is not they a can lot just of words. be rude all they want. It's not about being rude, it's about getting to the point and you understanding yes. it. It's like SMSing, right, for them, yeah. but in real life. Oh, yeah, and yeah, you kind of see when they fumble, like they may be ordering drinks, can have they? Like you can see that yeah, they, they try. Like extra you know, they know. try to like, can have this? Yes, I want this. Uh, like, you know, they like, they're like, they have like a bit of staccato. And yeah. my favorite part is uh, learning how to order in Malay. Because learning in Malay is even. Like it's even streamlined uh mm. English. So last time uh if we try to do it in uh English, it still sounds Malay. So for example, I want to buy uh, one day, okay, one roti pata, okay, and then uh one day one roti pata, then that's it. Yeah, they so, like satu, they satu, satu, satu. yeah so the abang will come okay. and then in English he'll be like, Can I have? Yeah, that's, that's the standard, right? Yeah, then yeah, yeah. one this, one day. But if the abang come and then it's like another abang, then the abang will just be like, uh abang. <coughs> yeah, it, it's just literally yeah. bark to greet the guy yeah. because he don't want to be an asshole. Yeah. Uh, then he will just list the items he want one of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it will just be te, ini, prata, ini. The best one. Uh, ini satu. Ini ah. satu. <laughs> they so, don't even say what they want. No, the, the, my favorite one is that because I have a friend who is like very close to the place and he, yeah. eats, he goes down and yeah. he goes like, there's no sun, Satu. And all you hear <laughs> is bark. <laughs> Satu. So if you take it as yeah. like transcript, right? You just order one. <laughs> yeah, it's quite funny, la. But I feel like our language is because of all the direct translations. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah, like Kima become Ken me. Yes. Yeah, it's because it's always influenced by each other. Like bang sat, uh, bang ini satu. Like uh, hey bro, this one one. Yeah. This one become uh, this one one. <laughs> yeah. The kind of thing. It's like a lot of it is because we direct translate from our second language, our mother tongue, if you will. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. which is kind of cool, but very lazy. <laughs> I don't think it's lazy, I but, think it's efficient. Oh, oh, then the laptop went bonkers. Does it matter? I don't think so. Let me see. Does it matter? Where's yeah. It yeah. So, like, I think it's not slowly online. Oh, wow. <laughs> I introduced my friend. To like the reality app. Oh. <laughs> oh. So yesterday I actually went online and then I just like opened like the YouTube because they have the app, the option to put the YouTube thing and then like people can watch horror stories with you. So mm. I just put there as like, come watch horror stories with me. Mm-hmm. Oh, that kind of thing. Yeah. So she just like, I just went online, no one there. I feel silly. Haha. <laughs> so I'm like, sure. Oh, I mean, yeah. If you were to start VTubing, nobody is going to be there. That's yeah. kind of like the basic thing. You have to yeah. low-key sell yourself. But yes. be cautious mm-hmm. because um, the EN community in general, like the English-speaking community, do find cutesy girl rather cringe. Because yes. everybody is kind of cookie cutter. Yes, yes, yes. Right. So you need to be very okay with the fact that just because you're an anime girl doesn't mean you have to speak with a mobile yes. voice. Yes, yes. <laughs> 
You can go there and be like, hey, Chao Bing, you know, tomorrow. <laughs> I think like, that has a lot more value as a VTuber, right? They're going, oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, 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 ah. You know, that kind of shit. You don't know. Like, <laughs> what? what the hell is that? It's just K N N, but in like a more say. No, that just look like you're a gremlin going, me, 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 me. I'm like, why are you holding like a gun doing like a. What is happening? They gave me and my friends. It's just like, me. <laughs> it's like you want to score but you're scared right then you better do score so you, no, just, you, just, you, you score like, like a garbage like yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like Some just means nothing Schrodenberg <laughs> version of the vulgarity yeah just say it for fun but yeah back to languages and which was I don't know how this topic get to this point in time cause of what advertising I don't know I just like to talk about languages yeah, like, it's when, fun. Like when you're young and you wanted to like score vulgarity but you couldn't, then you make yeah. chicken sounds. What's the popular thing in my school? Oh, really? Fuck you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Self censorship funny, right? Right. And it's okay, right? You comment thing, then funny. Oh, yeah. You don't even have to say, fuck you. Uh. Just make that sound. <laughs> but then, must have the hand signals to have my extra. No, it's always that, 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 that humming. That, that's like good. You're right. Then when you. You. Uh, yeah. Has that space, right? It's uh. quite funny. Right. I don't know why the head cock is like so like. Aggressive to people. Yeah. Because if you do it slowly, it's like, hey. Hey. You know, there's this. I saw this YouTube thing, right? They say, like, different ways of the hate language. There's like the. Hey. Like, you see a girl, and then there's like a. Sup, bro. And there's like the. Hey, like the aggressive yeah, guy. Yeah. And then it's all like about the same. And then there's like. There's like different shaping the different kind of hate cops. And then there's like the. Like, top of the head, too, sir. Okay. Yeah. So, there, there is the. <laughs> Uh, the straight flick up right is the angry one. Yeah. The side flick this way right is like, like the flirting. Is the bro- is this the, is the no. Oh. The uh, the side way diagonal one right, is the flirting. Like, yeah. Then if you are diagonal but eh. flipping up still is the bro one. <laughs> and then it's the, the lean back and like eh like the lean back and like tilt and then like that is like eh bro like bringing it in for a handshake kind. Yeah. The that funny <laughs> That, like a lot of people think like dude, this sounds ridiculous. That's just pair languages. This is yeah. what we do all the time. Yeah. If like people constantly like to fold their arms, that's because they're just very uncomfortable. Yeah. Right? And that's just the thing we do. Body language is very fun to like uh watch. And you would say that the funniest thing about uh I would say posturing, right, is mm. B-boys. No. They are not uncomfortable. This is just mad flex, right? <laughs> but if you were to read it like as is just I am very unsafe right now. <laughs> And it's not true. I'm insecure. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not. I'm defensive. You know, because that's all the videos taught us. Yeah. How to read body languages. When someone is crossing their arms in a political situation, it means that person is getting defensive. That's the best part about politics. Because the first thing you learn in politics is body language. Yeah. Or like if the feet are, when I talk to someone and my feet are facing you, it means I'm generally interested in the conversation. If my feet are facing away, means I don't really want to talk to you. And then they have the whole like, Upper handshake, the one that like Trump likes to like freaking like put other people is like to show aggression that I'm like, I'm your alpha. <laughs> I, I like there's one uh, TikTok that says that you want to be more alpha, grab higher in the arm. <laughs> <laughs> then the handshake just becomes. <laughs> <laughs> then if you want to be real close, grab like the upper arm. <laughs> sorry, then... sorry, but like I, my, my, my boyfriend's friends, right? Their bro handshake is like, hey brother, then you're like, then it. <laughs> As in like you, we usually do yeah. this right for a chest thumb because it's cool to hug the person you like, but but not male, really hugging. But like you know, male yeah. culture just like better not get yeah. the next to touch. Better so not like, chest on side. chest, yeah. but side chest is fine. He no, it's like chest. chest on chest is okay. Just that like, you wanna uh, do like what we, we the internet calls the Christian hug, where you just kind of like sideways so that everything in contact by your groin, like you know, these yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Right. Yeah, they're just like, oh, bring it in, fellas, bring it in, and oh, that kind of thing. Yeah. But I love the hate not thing. It's so fun. It's like very interesting. It's like there's there are different kinds, and then I love a long time right, I was so into reading body languages because I watched Lie to Me mm, mm, mm. and like the mentalist that kind of nonsense. Mm, mm. Yeah, it's very interesting. Like, but honestly, there are some that are very difficult, and like not always the case. Like, this freaking mosquito bite. I keep scratching. Anyway, there's like different case. So like, got someone say, oh, whenever you're using your left brain, you tend to look left. Whenever you're using your right brain, you tend to look right. So if you are trying to remember something which is factual, because your left brain is more for factual stuff, you will look left upward. But if you're trying to think of something new, you're like creating a new line which requires your right brain for creativity. You tend to look right. But I think it depends. What if you just look up or just look down? That's not true. Uh, 
That is if let's say a person is highly unaware mm. and in a state where they don't have control. Okay. Because what can happen is right if the room is full of white and there's one red thing, whether you think or you're lying, you're gonna look at the red thing. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. So, so like the eye thing is a bit like. Eh. It's only useful for interrogation because yes. you're in a dark room. There's nothing else. Yes. To Yes, so like some of it doesn't really work, but then there are some like quite interesting. So like we learn a lot, I'm pretty sure you also know that. Like when you're giving presentations, like ways to make yourself look more confident, it's like open. Oh, open-ish. I hate that. Yeah, but then the kind of non- Because everybody like, looks like a clown trying to do those tips. Yeah. And when I present, I always slouch. Because mm. the whole point of it is for you to tell a narrative, right? Yeah. So you start with like, I have no idea, here's the introduction. When you get to the end, right, naturally, you just want to do that. Why? Because it sells... The expectation of, mm. oh, this presentation is going to suck. Yeah. Hey, wait, it's not. Mm. Right? <coughs> and you can game that. So why yeah. are you learning it? To game your professors. Yeah. Should you actually do it? No, you look like a clown every time yeah. you're trying to like us yeah. so yeah. read in front so of So like they always say like, oh, but for people who need that confidence boost, they're like, oh, keep your arms open. They'll feel more insecure. Yeah, because you're opening yeah. yourself and you're like, you're bearing your chest to the audience. <laughs> but they say, push your shoulders back, keep your arms open, hands cannot be put down or hovering. Always be by the side of your hips so that you like on the ball. I the hate that stands. posture. Let's just put those into practice, right? Okay, I'm just okay. gonna do that. You do this, okay? If you have this, like that. if you because it's literally chest out, shoulders back to stand yeah. straight, ma. Right? Okay. Then so now my hands are put back for, for comedic effect. But if you stand straight, right, it's gonna look like that. It's right? gonna look news presenter. Right. This is going to be fine for gents. For ladies who have like a little bit more well and now, you're just gonna look like you're trying to sell your tits to your professor. Yes. Then they tell you to put your hands by your hips. So now you're just basically holding on to your own. Not like that, uh, you didn't jokes, yeah. Right. No, uh, not all like that. Okay, there are some that people will still use. As in, they say you put your hands here, you're always moving. There are some like Yeah, that's the problem. Okay, let's say, okay, if you, if you are like airplane, right, this doesn't like matter. That. But this, so what do you suggest? This doesn't matter. Stand comfortably. Yeah, because, yeah You yeah, don't yeah. go and arch your back or like no do one stand. Like, okay. Like, okay. You, you can slouch, it's ex- excellently, like, it's absolutely fine to slouch. You can even do, like, you know, those, like, I, what I like to call the Japanese circle, which oh, is okay. just them. This is absolutely <laughs> fine. And yeah. when you suddenly need to present a situation, move your hand out to p- point out that something new is happening. Yes. And go back to the thing. Because it's more important that you're comfortable yes. than you with forgetting your content and trying to do yeah, your, like... A lot of people, like, is it like, what's the... <laughs> Hello, guys! Okay, like, it depends on... Yeah, just do what you're comfortable with. Like, yeah. if you're comfortable moving around, sometimes your movements help you think. Like, I need to move my hands to help me think. Yeah, if I don't move my hands and I'm just like that, I don't really know. Like, my focus is on keeping my hands still. No, I, I, I never care about my body posture yeah. simply because I kind of know what I'm doing. Yeah. So I don't really like... <laughs> yeah. But, okay, okay, and I'm just I, like... I, I say this because I've seen a lot of people who ask me for presentation tips and they are usually quite... Well and now. And it's oh. very it's very weird because when you wear like suit jackets and everything and you put your hands here, you look very puffed up. Yes. Then when you do this, right, it's because her toe cloth ma, yes. so you cannot reach into the center. And for safety sake, usually people understand that. Yeah. But because your hands are like that, right? When you do this, right, it's literally you're just trying to touch your own chair. Yeah. Oh, so but I feel like wear adult ladies a bit tougher, yeah. Hmm? Wear adult ladies a bit tougher to dress. In a way, for people to take you more seriously. No, that's not true. Really? Uh, you should stand in V shape, right? Uh, you can arch your back. Mm. You have to do the exaggerated pose the most mm. because what you're trying to do is to level out the shape. Yes. Because what happens is that right now you look like an S shape. Yes. When you push it out, right, you're naturally gonna be a bit taller. Mm. The taller you stand, the less your proportion becomes an issue. Mm. Right. So. Your objective, right, is just do this. Yeah, pull, pull yourself, yeah, pull up. yourself up. Yeah, pull yourself up. Once you pull yourself up already, right, then whatever your hand does really doesn't matter because your body is naturally going to flatten. Mm-hmm. I mean, dress-wise, like, like they, I don't know. I just feel like they, they're very mindful of how they dress because, like, so they, scared, they give certain impression, which is, I mean, like, it sucks that the society has made them feel that way, but, yeah, just, just wear suits so. off. You cannot really, like, <laughs> be... Or like, you cannot wear a blouse that has like proof because it makes it even bigger. So like what you say, like technically everything about your body is like evening out or like pulling apart. So let's say the way you dress or so, if your hair is very well endowed, then you have to like create an illusion to de-endow it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's to I just balance always out. advise men's cut. 
mm. over female card. Because female card just tends to basically yes. paint you the slutty secondary. <laughs> you cannot run much. <laughs> yeah. Then, if you wear women's blazer, it's like a uh, slutty secondary for yes. part two. Because, because they have the waist, yes. the thingy, which makes it and, even more obvious. <clears throat> and the yeah. button is low. So yes. what I can uh, advise is you take a uh, male uh, inner shirt, Mm. The female blazer, you both in. Because if you wear male blazer, you're going to look like clown. Because yes. you're going to look square. You're going to look yeah. like a robot character. Yeah, <laughs> from yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So you have to you have to wear female blazer. Mm. Right. My advice, don't button. Because mm. yes, buttoning makes you but, look very cool. Then like slimmer body, but buttoning kind of emphasizes on that shirt. Because there's one window. There's yes, a book window. You cannot get rid of it. Yeah. 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 If you're going to wear like some bright color, it's like my focus is on it. So, uh, I would say that there are professional ways to dress. But mm. it's more about how you conduct yourself. Yeah. If you are like the sheepish one or the mm. scared, naturally, right, everybody else is not going to be interested in what's happening here. The next thing to look is look down. Yeah. So you have to be interesting lah. If you're not interesting, then really got no choice lah. Go and take some courses, really. Imagine if like this for those who are weird. That what about those who like, <laughs> then if like... Or flat injustice? Like, yeah, doesn't matter, it's just why we want, nobody can. Yeah, but then if that's why you have to... Okay, it's sad to say, but like flat injustice people... You just wear whatever you think looks good. Because like for the flat it's just this, there's always the rub out to be like the like the more not so feminine one kind of lady. Oh no, I I I, I there's the one of my friends very say. funny, right? They like yeah. to triple bra, right? So that at least uh, if they are boring got something else to look at. Yeah, that's why. But yeah. because there's nothing to save you. The presentation will never get a positive uh thing, right? If you're not good. Triple and bra. What what I like wear. what I like about this is that mm. if you want for equality Technically, women should be flat in justice. Because that means, right, we're not judging you for your body, we're judging you for you. Yeah. And if you're unhappy with that situation, right, or because I'm flat chested and that I'm not as good and people don't like me, that's your problem. That's how equality works, bitch. <laughs> so, like, it. yeah. So, the only other way is to improve your presentation skills. Which is kind of the point if you yeah. want to show, Right? I'm don't, not saying don't, that, yeah. don't bang everything. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. <laughs> be, be, you know, study hard and do good. Because yeah. I believe the, the brilliant part of it is, right, if let's say we go men versus women, I think men are just dumb because we are very one one task. Okay. Women can multitask a lot of things. That means, right, the potential for your presentation to be absolutely beautiful is higher. Uh. But the problem is that uh, sometimes men want to do things that women are good at and women want to do things that men are good at. Yeah. We are different. Just, just accept the fact that we're different. Yeah, I know. Can okay. you do each other thing? Yes. Okay. In Bata, I'm sorry if we get hated, but I'm the people that feel that ultimately men and women are just different. Yeah. That's the fact. That's the fact. And that of course there are certain ways that you do to bridge that difference. But no one can escape that we are just biologically different and because of this difference, of course there'll be it'll affect other things. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's just <coughs> just that lah. Like, yeah. I, I, I like to talk about this because some people All the get, SJW uh, they, they get a bit caught All the social justice warriors Yeah, they think that oh, <clears throat> The men things should be made easier for women And the women things should be made easier for men No, you should make it harder So that at the end If let's say you choose to do the men's thing You must overcome it mm-hmm. And then when you get that You get you earn the respect Like you watch uh, those female uh, What's it called uh, American football people. Mm. They are built essentially like men. They change their body so that they can uh, do this. Are there any less women? No. Mm. Right? But once they're there, you get the mad respect. Look at that one like linebacker, right? Just mm. bum rush one person. This guy flies like what? 10 yards down. No guy would possibly do that because the other person is also about that kind of weight, right? But women's sports are fun to watch because sometimes they are willing to push. It's their choice. Yeah. Right? So we shouldn't really equalize things. It's not right. We don't get to you know, be good at what we are good at. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and everything has its place. <coughs> yeah, everything has its place. Mm. I agree. And there's a reason why some things, people are just better at it than others. Mm. And gender is no exception, I feel. Like, if you can think of it in this way for other aspects, like tall versus short, for mm. example, why is it different for men versus women? Mm. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Some things tall people can do, some things short people can do. Some things females are better at, some things males are better at. Yeah. This is just biology la. Of course, people like to twist it and turn it and then there are some nasties out there. And to counter the nasties, there'll be like our SJ, our lovely SJWs. But sometimes things get out of hand and <coughs> people tend to just push their own agenda. Also. Go. 
เอ่อตาหงเท่าเตวล็อกล็อกซี่เอาเชิญไปเพิ่มสิ No my favorite เอ่อ recent เอ่อ fight was that we were talking about accounting and they're saying like oh women don't get equal opportunities to be like the um uh what do you call like short callers oh right and okay. then they're arguing that they should give be given opportunity to be short callers right mm-hmm. and then one of the person who was a, a feminist said very simple you just need to make immoral choices oh damn Because usually all the big shot callers are there because they can decide when sacrifices should be made and make those sacrifices. Yeah. So it's not that it's not okay. Mm. It's because it's literally you want to have the king and queen. The yeah. people who are there at a position have killed their their own like friendships, right? Just yeah. to get there. Yeah. And because you are a nice person, you cannot kill friendships. Mm. And you want to change the entire system. You give something in exchange. Yeah. So mm. you want to be there and have your cake also. Oh. Then that means that yes, you can do it. Mm. But now what you want is essentially your ability to get there without killing anybody. Even guys cannot do it. That's why we cannot give that equality to you because it doesn't exist. So if you want that for yourself, you have to go and create a company situation in which you literally kill nobody to get yeah. back to us. Oh, there's right? one. I love actually. I love watching Jordan Peterson videos because I just agree and it makes sense. But some of the things that people say, right, because of how PC we are these days, it makes it. It may, might put a person in a very uncomfortable position, you know, okay. and they feel the need to step up. Okay, so Jordan Peterson says this. He's actually uh he's from Canada. He's mm. a very renowned speaker, and he also he's I think a clinical psychologist. Yeah. So he says like out of all the people that okay people always ask him they say why touchy subject last time ah uh, why are women paid less than men ah uh. he says a lot of women come to my office. Telling me how to get my, I I will get paid lesser. He says because women tend to be more, like not pushy, like maybe mm, in a situation mm, where mm, you get to mm. demand for more pay, women tend to be like, oh, okay lah, I'm fine with anything, so yeah. Mm, and mm. men are like, no, I want this. So of course there are women like that too, mm. and because of this maybe they get higher pay. Mm. But it's just that a majority of the gender mm. tend to be more like okay lah, anything lah. Mm, so mm, when they mm. take the overall majority, the pay is this much. Mm. Versus the guys, there's a majority. Of course, there are more subservient guys as well. It's like also anything should be as should be. You know, it's all about the the proportion, mm. So when he says this, right, people give him shit for it. Mm. But it's like if you kind of think about it, like oh sure, it's true. Like after that's why he say whenever people come into like come to me for treatment, uh, what's that therapy? I'll just tell them push for it then, mm. like step out of your comfort zone, mm. push for it, mm. and then you see if there's a change. Mm. Yeah. So that's what he says. He advise. Women who try to break up of this shell, but because by saying this, right, it will trigger a lot of people and say that how dare you? How dare you say that is inequality present? And it's true, but not all of it is always like the case of just because people are biased. Mm. Sometimes it's also because we tend to be more, eh, yeah. Yeah, like I, 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 okay, like okay, this is an opinion on the internet, so I'm gonna yeah. say it. I always believe that inequality is self inflicted. Yeah. Because and it's not like by choice, ah. Okay, means that other people like you has mm. inflicted this, so now you get stereotypical. Mm. So, <clears throat> like for example, last time, uh, women have uh less pay. Yeah. What happens is that, like what you said, they're not pushy, and when you're mm. too aggressive, right? Yeah. The problem of you being uh, okay, men being aggressive very simple one. Yeah. Okay, they have only two two uh I would say options when they're aggressive. Mm. Either I get it, or if I don't, I'll fight my way for it. Yeah. Women tend to have a bigger brain. And would consider more things. So when you get aggressive, right? You mm. kind of this is a human thing, ah. If let's say you think about too many things, it becomes defensive. Yeah. In nature. Yeah. So that means, right? It's not like a positive aggression. Ah, uh, yeah. So usually that means that if I go there and I do this, and then because they start thinking about it, there is mm. not positive aggression. Oh, oh no, oh no no no. Hey, hey hello. Hey. Now <laughs> it starts to do that. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> we didn't even touch it. Okay. Yeah. Sure. yeah. So. Uh, that means that when they think about it, they stop it, and mm. therefore it seems like a self-inflicted inequality because yeah. I cannot afford to go aggressive because I might lose. <clears throat> But on our makes, end, right? It makes me uncomfortable, or like it it makes me yeah because we tend to think a lot of things like oh what if I become too aggressive and then like my impression ruin or like where do we go from here if I become too aggressive now then what Hajshah Tai Tai is a bit cut dancer. So like they tend to hold back a bit. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. guys, right? We don't think about that because at the yeah. end of the day. Do I care more about my image or putting food on the table? Mm. Food on the table. 
screw that image then. Let's go aggressive. Mm. And that's why it always seems that the guys do that. Because we care less. Mm. You care more. Which mm. means that caring more, <laughs> there's a lot of other benefits, other places. Yeah. Yeah. Being in a competitive place is not a place for you. Mm. That, that's, that's why I think it's a lot of like self-infliction. Because yeah. at the end of the day, the argument very stupid in, uh, in, in, in uh, male versus female when you read narratives on the internet. <laughs> I love it so much because women want general good for the world. Yeah. Men want progression. Yes. Those two never come together. Yes. Even though before, general good should progress. No, the no. world progress on conflict. Let us be yeah. last learn. Conflict and suffering. <laughs> so yeah. men want to progress by making sure that the divide goes bigger. Why? Because that means we got less baggage. Mm. We always go forward. The ch- our choices are simple. If you're willing to play the game, you're willing to die for it. Like the what's Dar- Darwin's theory of survival. Right? Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Right. But women believe altruism. Yes. Right? Everybody should be fair and equal. And Everyone equal. should live peacefully and happily and then fair. My favorite uh male chauvinistic comment is find that work hard and feed an orphanage and a homeless shelter. Go. Mm. After that, please become a CEO. Mm. Show me your bungalow. And it's the funniest comment ever because it's like, why then? Now, now, the, now okay, so in a Reddit thread, right? I don't know whether I can find it, but if I manage to find it, I'll, I'll, let it, uh, I'll let it go. So it's, the conversation went like that. So people are like, no, but why must she uh, feed the poor to... Yeah, why is it her responsibility? Yeah, mm. so the question here is that if you want altruism, your lowest, weakest member must mm. be the same level as yes. you before progress happens. Yes. That's the point he's trying to but make. But it can never happen. Yes. That is the fact. That is why yeah. that is why the, the narrative currently in our society is uh, male-centric progression, which is kill the weak, move forward. For things to happen, like we need imbalance, then it will move. I think of it as a seesaw. Mm. We need imbalance, then it will move. Changes happen when it moves. If it's, there is balance... If things are not going to move, changes are not going to happen. Then another favourite Jordan Peterson article, the only interview that I watched, is something about people, there's a reason why people are just good at things and why people are just bad at things. Then he say, he hates it when people say that, like, everyone can become an expert at this. He's like, no, not everyone can become an expert. Not everyone can become a doctor. Yep. That's the fact. Yeah. If everyone and anyone can do a certain step and reach this position, then no one is really good at anything. And there is no balance. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. there is balance. There, there's just the fact that there is no... Ah! He mentioned this. There needs to be a hierarchy. Hierarchy. Yes. Yes. Hierarchy in terms of skills. Hierarchy in terms of their yeah, skills. La. So you have to be someone who is very good at something in order for things to progress. And just because you're no, not good at this thing doesn't mean you're not good at something else. And that's how, like, people who are... We ensure that people who are really good at things are the ones taking charge of it. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's, a, there's a more, like, a PC version of his uh, a theory that was presented in a video that I watched, which is basically... And yes, everyone can be good at uh, everything. You just don't have the time in your life left to do mm. it. Yeah. So that means that, yes, you can slave away. You will eventually become... <laughs> is it me or battery Liao? No, eh, they usually have a... Is it? Just can press the shutter button. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Shutter, shutter. Hello. Shutter, shutter. Are you going to wake up? Or is it going to die? No, I usually still we have the, the bling bling, right? Oh, no. It's going to die. Okay. Okay, I guess. Well, oh. oh, it's back. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> okay, I think your battery now. Lah. So, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 they didn't even say charge the battery. Nice. And with that, oh. uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thanks for staying with oh, us for yeah. one hour and 57 minutes. Yes. Uh, we really enjoy I hope you enjoy our talk session. We can continue this on Monday. Yeah, we yeah. should. So, uh, if not, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ian. My name is Crystal. And I hope you like this podcast slash I don't ramen know what, Ramen, yeah, yeah. session. Uh, you've been a wonderful audience. Tomorrow, we will have a, a game show, uh, GGWP, together with me and Crystal, where we will play some Human Fall Flat. Yay! And on Friday, Super Sale! Yes. If not, do follow us. You know what to do. Uh, come back for some more chaos and chat. Mm-hmm. If not, have a nice have Wednesday. Have a nice bye bye. Day guys, bye. Well, we figure uh, out how to switch this off. It's okay, lah. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, where is Gotta my circle? Turn